While I continue to search for the remaining blue dragons, I could use your aid in another matter. Alex Ross and I plan on laying to rest the remaining essence of Malagos and Cindragosa. She's held on to the lingering essences after both were slain years ago. Senegos said there was a time where the dragons would be laid to rest in the Veiled Ossuary. Unfortunately, the place is a bit of a mess. He's gone ahead to clean up the area with Stelagosa. Could you aid them? Senegos should be within the Veiled Ossuary now. Alexstrasza and I will be joining you shortly. Malagos and Sindragosa both suffered violent deaths in their lifetime. The least we can do is put their remaining essences to rest. It's more like aspect in title. So what they mean by aspect is not so much the whole package deal. They more mean like, okay, I now represent as a leader of my flight. I am their aspect. And it doesn't really mean that they're fully empowered. So right now, um, Alexstrasza and Nosdormu are the old school, we still have our powers. Um, Marifra has taken over from a mother, but is not empowered. While Ebonhorn has just been picked by the Black Dragonflight to take over from Nelfarian. And then we got Caligos. And Caligos is the Blue Dragonflight. And Caligos, which nicely segues into uh, what we're doing here. Uh, Caligos is an actual new aspect that was created. And this storyline played out during the Cataclysm. Um, there was like this Firelands raid, a legendary questline. And during the questline, this is also part of the book for all Twilight of the Aspects. Um, basically what we're doing in Dragonflight also played out somewhat in that book. Like the dragons finding themselves again and empowering themselves and a the big evil, yada yada yada. And of course, Deathwing be the end guy. So what happens is Malagos was slain during Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, Malagos was their original leader, but he fell into madness after Deathwing nearly wiped out his flight during the War of the Ancients. He hid away in the Nexus where they got Twilight Dragons, Nether Dragons, Nether Dragons. And um, nether dragons were brought to the Nexus and they attacked the Nexus, to which Melagos was like, hey, this is my house. You don't get to attack my house. And he started to suck them all in. And these nether dragons were originally black dragon eggs, but they were like transformed when Draenor became Outland. Long story short, as he sucked in the nether dragons, Melagos regained somewhat of his sanity and he looked around himself and he was like, hmm. Hmm. You know what? You mortals do not deserve magic. You all just mess things up. And he started to hoard all the magic. He started to pull in all the magical ley lines that are crisscrossed the world. He started to pull them in. He started doing the one thing that the Titus actually told him not to do, which is hoard magic away from the rest of the world. Obviously, if he uh, had completed his mission, the world would have been destroyed. Because, you know, obviously... And so the world rose up to take care of Malagos back during Wrath of the Lich King, the so-called Nexus Wars. And some have actually asked me, like, when did Alexstrasza get in contact with the mortals? Now, Alexstrasza has always been very much in tune with the world and mortals compared to other dragons. But really where we got our allegiance going was back then, in the so-called Nexus War with the Worm Rest Accord. Heroes go into the Nexus, they get, like, the key from Nexramas, they go into the Nexus, they take care of Malagos. But now, whoopsie-daisy, Blue Dragonflight no longer has an aspect, no longer has a leader. And they kind of needed a leader if they were going to take on Deathwing. Now, there was a child of Malagos. I would have to Google his name. I want to say Senegos, but Senegos is the one from Legion. Oh, God, he had a name. Malagos and whatever, something goes. And um, he felt that he was going to be the new leader of the Blue Dragon Flight because, you know, he was the child of Melagos. Uh, meanwhile, Caligos was also there and he was like, yo, I've been an MC for quite a while now. And uh, Eragos, thank you kindly. Um, I've been an MC for quite a while now. I, I could be Aspect. I could have a good time. And so the Blue Dragon Flight kind of had to vote. Frawl played a part in there in the book, but ultimately at the end of the day, they had like this ritual where the blue moon and the blue child and the great moon, they lined up and it was like a very special moment for the Blue Dragons. And unanimously, for some reason, they were able to make a new aspect and they decided to go with Caligos because for the moment, our analytical magical Blue Dragons, they voted not with their minds, but with their hearts and Caleb became the new leader. And then Eragos was like, oh, you're rude today, because I'm actually in league with Deathwing. And so Eragos was killed. Some time travel shenanigans happened. Thrall, all the good stuff. And uh, Malagos became the new aspect. And together we went through the Cataclysm. We kicked Deathwing's booty. And then he lost his powers again. Oh, that's a shame. But he sacrificed his powers for the greater good. And he was severely weakened. Um, 
that's how uh, Caligos became the new aspect of the Blue Dragon Flights. Loon did not so much pick Caligos. Like, uh, let's let's not forget that it's a bit of weird to see like a newly appointed aspect, but either here nor there. Um, the Blue Dragons chose Caligos. Um, that was that was the idea behind it. Um, there was also Tiragosa. And oh, come on, brain work. Kalika Tiragosa, I think they were like from the same clutch nest or something like that. They were extremely close. And during the quest line, in order to get Kalik to become the new aspect, there is interference by Deathwing and the Twilight Hammer Cult. And they nearly kill Kalik, except Tiragosa is like, not today! And she jumps in front of it. And she goes, ah! And then she dies. And Kalik is like, oh no! Uh, but don't worry, we put her essence into a staff, and if you've done the quest line, you can actually turn into her, which is kind of cool. Now, I've been told um, that there's actually more to it if you do this quest line with that staff in hand, or if you've done the quest line with a character that's fully maxed out. Unfortunately, my mage is not fully maxed out, so my mage is unable to do it. It has done the quest line, neither here nor there. Um, and that's kind of one of. Uh, there was another character of the book. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it because I don't remember the name. It wasn't Tiragosa. It wasn't Sindragosa. Um, there was another character in the book, which was like the sister of Eragos. And that's Kirigosa. Thank you. Kirigosa was taken by somebody called... <laughs> it's been a while. I want to say the prophet, but he wasn't called the prophet. He wasn't called the bishop either. You know that dude in the Cataclysm dungeon that goes, There's holy power! That one, Benedictus. The Twilight Father, that was his name. Um, he had taken Kiragosa, and they were planning to have Kiragosa mate with a five-headed dragon. Um, I know, wild stuff happens. But, um, yeah, that, that thankfully for Kiragosa never happened. And so, as Caligos was, like, leader of their flight, and uh, after the Cataclysm, they'd done all their things in order to save the world from Deathwing... It kind of became a question amongst all the dragons, like, what do we do now, right? Like, what do we do now? And Kalec went through the book called Dawn of the Aspects. Um, long story short, he was able to see the memories of Malagos and see, like, the birth of the Aspects. And at the end of the day, he realized, like, we dragons should stick together. Just keep the Wormrest Accord going. You never know when it comes in handy. Um, but at the same time, he also told his blue dragon flight, like, look... I'm not. Sure, I'm not gonna be leading you guys, right? Like, I'm not. I'm, I'm just gonna have my own adventures. I really like this 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 lady called Jaina, and I really just want to spend time with her in Daladan. Bam, chico, bam, bam. So if you could all just. Oh yeah, by the way, Kalik ended up in a relationship with Jaina, but if you could all just like find your own destiny, that would be great. And in the case of um, Kiragosa, she decided to go to Stranglethorn and just chill there. Um, now, of course, Kalik, he uh, was in a relationship with Jaina for a while, but then Daladan accepted the Horde back into their ranks, and Jaina was like, I'm out, I'm going to do Legion on my own now. And so their relationship has been undecided? Something like that. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Tiragosa was supposed to be Kalik's mate, not to be confused with Terragosa, who is the legendary. And Tiragosa has adventures. Tiragosa was the one who brought the Nether Dragons to the Nexus, which caused Melagos to gain his sanity again, because he felt sorry for them. You can actually find her in the Burning Crusade, which I fuck was mind-blowing. Like, her st story in the comics, actually portrayed in the game. Um, and she's part of the Dragonflight raid, or the Dragon Soul raid, I should say. Um, where she's in the tower, and she's like, oh, champions, you must go upstairs, and then we deal with business. Okay, I think that's enough of an introduction to the whole Blue Dragon situation. One more thing, though. In Dragonflight itself, we've seen Kalik go into, um, not the Nexus, but he gone into the Azure Span. And he figured out that there's a copy of Sindragosa in the computer. Sindragosa was the beloved mate of their leader, Melagos. As we explained, Melagos, during War of the Ancients, got mad because his flight got nearly wiped out. Um... In the case of Sindragosa, she was blown back. Like all the others, they were like sucked out and they were drained until there was nothing left. But Sindragosa was thrown all the way to Northrend, across Dragonblight, where people were said that that's where the dragons died, like the Dragon Graveyard. She flew all the way to Icecrown, and in the last moments, as she tried to crawl to Dragonflight, Dragonblight wounded, injured, death approaching, her heart turned cold. And she fought the Melagos, and she hated him. 
and she fought the Deathwing, and she hated him, and the mortals of the world, she hated everything. She was dying, all alone in the cold, and her heart was full of venge vengeance at the end. And a few millennia later, Arthur showed up, la 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 la, you're mine now, and he turned her into an undead frost dragon, and you fight her in Ice Crown Citadel. Now, her essence has been claimed by the green dragon that we find there, they give like a little quest. Um... And they, uh, like, we, we've claimed, like, her essence, and we, we've taken what we've gotten there. Um, but yeah, it was kind of sad for Cinderagosa. She's also the uh, massive dragon that you see in, like, the Wrath of the Lich King uh, introductionary trailer. It's beautifully done. Um, what about Azuragos? Now, Azuragos... Azuragos was a boss during classic World of Warcraft in Azura. And he got so fed up with mortals constantly fighting him that he just decided to chill in the Shadowlands. Or sorry, yeah, in the Shadowlands. But not the actual Shadowlands, like the, the realm between the Shadowlands and the Mortal Plane, where he just got into a relationship with a spirit healer. <clears throat> that happened. Factual lore. Now, unfortunately, it didn't really go very far. And he played a part in the legendary artifact questline during Legion, where mages go into the Nexus and they claim Alunef, and priests go in there and they claim what you call it. Um, but yeah, that's that's who it goes for you. Yeah. Wee! All right, grandfather. Surely you could rest and leave the cleaning of this place to someone else. <laughs> Allow an old dragon a bit of nostalgia. I used to be the keeper of this place when I was younger than you. Hmm. So Caligos found like the image of um, Cinderagosa. He has tried to bring back the Blue Dragonflight after giving them the order of, you know, find your own destiny. And the only blue dragons that really respond to the call were the ones to be found in Legion. Were the ones to be found on the Broken Isles. Um, the rest of the flight still need to show up some way, somehow. So we're going to find out. It's good to see you. How we're going to make that happen. Also, Blizzard, you have the capability to put beams on NPCs so that they can't be crowded with mounts, right? It's fascinating to be standing in this place. I've heard so many stories about it from Grandfather. Take care. I'm here to help you, Senegos. The Veiled Ossuary is where we used to bury our deaths. Us dragons live quite, uh, quite a long time, but old age does eventually take us all. Though the aspects play by different rules. I imagine Caligos told you he plans to put to rest the last essence of Cindragosa and Melagos. <gasps> well, we can't do that if the Veiled Ossuary is a mess, now can we? I believe it is time for a nap. Shall the we begin? The dragon flights will rise again. Ah, the Veiled Ossuary. I was given the task to be a sort of gravekeeper, which included keeping wildlife away from the area. I had a rather fun spell split up within several tomes kept within this place to deal with such pests. The other blue dragons did not approve of my uh, <clears throat> reckless methods, so I had to keep the tomes hidden. Here, allow me to cast a spell on you to grant to the site to find the old tomes. Once they're all gathered, we can clean this place of the invasive wildlife. There is great power within you. You Just give me one moment. Okie dokie. Ah, the spell seems to have fizzled out. But I won't make you wait <laughs> on this old dragon. Stella Gosa, could you aid our friend? Of course, Grandfather. I remember it well. Whenever you're ready, friend. How can I help? I hope to see you again soon. There you go. The trail should be quite easy to follow now. I'll help Grandfather get to the next location. Thank you, my dear. Champion, we'll be able to see what you see with this spell. Uh, quite handy for extra commentary. <sighs> I believe I may have put too much power into that spell to save young Kalagos from Razageth. It's taking quite some time to recover. So many mounds, yeah, man. Imagine other people in my MMORPG. Other people. Ew. Ah, these ancient halls. 
In the old times, blue dragons would claim a small location in the ossuary, where they wished to have their remains sent. We used dragon blight in Northrend as a final resting place, when it was impossible to return to the Isles. Oh, cool. Okay. Fun fact, um, Galagrond is in Dragonblight. <clears throat> and Galagrond was once upon a time said to be the progenitor of all the dragons. So once upon a time, the filthy dragons lied to us all and were like, Oh yeah, we all come from Galagrond, but that is a lie. Alrighty, Deathrion. Those who could make it back here after Neltherion nearly wiped us out passed within these halls. I was ordered to leave their remains undisturbed. Aww. I was the last remaining gravekeeper after that. Given the task to update all the graves before we departed. Hmm. Aww. I was younger, more rebellious then. They gave me the Gravekeeper role as a way to teach me responsibility. It wasn't until the War of the Ancients that I took it seriously. Greetings, my friend. Uh, combine spheres and arcane magic. Roll at high speed, regardless of physical limitations. Uh, stick the parts conjured arcane shapes. May the wisdom of the titans Here they are. guide you. I'm glad some things have survived all this Do time. What you must I remember having so much fun. The world, hero. I remember having so much fun rolling these creatures up with my spells. Unfortunately, I fear that these old bones will not let me move as quickly as I once did. I would love for you to give it a shot. Let me live vicariously through you. The more creatures you roll up, the bigger the ball becomes. The bigger the ball, the bigger the creature you can roll out. Speak to me, when I, and I shall give you my special arcane ball to roll up the creatures around May her. the wisdom of the titans guide you. I believe it is time for a Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Kinda wonder if our boy, um, Katgar is gonna show up at some point. Ah, oh, they're still too, uh, small. Uh, okay. I don't have the music for it, but I know the game. I've never played it, but it's amazing. At some point you start rolling up the world itself. You're getting the hang of it now. I spent so much time rolling up creatures in my youth. Uh, grandfather, this seems highly inefficient. Don't you have spells to clear the creatures out instantly? Oh, my dear Stellagosa. When you live as long as we do, you must sometimes favor enjoying life over being efficient. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I admit the charm is growing on me a bit. Okay. Katamari. Ah. Very good. Bring the ball closer to the top tomb entrance and launch it into the sky. Mm. Whee! <laughs> okay. Neat. Uh, if the blue dragons frowned upon your ball escapades, why were you allowed to continue doing it? Malagos was quite amused by it. <laughs> he even joined me a few times, when time allowed it. And when he was a much more light-hearted aspect. Aww. That is true, by the way. Malagos had a great sense of humor before he went mad and Deathwing betrayed him. 
Um, as well as big part of the reason, like not only did his um, flight go wiped out, which is of course a big reason as to why he fell into madness, but also because Nelfarian was like a brother to him. And Malagos was one of the first to step up and be like, yo, let's make this dragon soul, right? Um, like they were described by, I believe it was Alex Straza who said like, they might not have been clutch mates in truth, but they acted like clutch mates. They acted like brothers, so close they were. Um, there's even a vision inside of Yoxaran where Yisteda asks, like, is the weapon that glow is that supposed to be? Um, and I believe it was Melagos who steps up and is like, it is a weapon like no other. It must be like no other. Um, yeah. And of course, locking away the Drakfear. Like, Nelfarian didn't trust any of his fellow aspects to know about the Drakfear, except for Melagos. And he told Melagos, like, oh, he needed his help, of course, but he did recruit Melagos' aid, and Melagos kept his mouth shut as well. I believe we can help each other. Fine work. Ah, to be young Do again. what you must to save the world, hero. We will be joined shortly by Caligos and Alex Stralza. Before then, I have a request. It was a tradition to have gravestones set before your death. It allowed you to choose where you would rest when you passed. It was the job of the caretakers to update the gravestones and deposit the lingering essence of Arcana at the site. Before our guests join us, would you help me in this task? Take this list and these graves, update the existing graves, and place the new ones. There is Grandfather, why are you still tasked with updating these graves? Surely it should go to younger Drakes. Young Caligos was insistent I rest. Hmm. But I have been waiting for a very long time to return here and clean this place. Aww. These graves deserve to be updated. It is not good for the dead to be left without rest. I am the oldest of my kind. Can you tell me a bit more about Melagos? Of course. The Melagos that you may have heard was the former aspect of the Blue Dragons. His mind was broken when the majority of her flight was slaughtered by Nelfarian 10,000 years ago. Not so long ago, Melagos came to his senses and promptly sought to destroy all mages within Azeroth, believing that they had no right to wield arcane power. Unwilling to change his mind, he was killed. Sometime later, young Caligos was chosen to replace Melagos' aspects. But before the madness, before Nelfarian, he was... Juvial. Jovial, Juvial, kind. Melagos and Sindragosa had many large gatherings within Azure Span. I miss those days of levity, when laughter echoed in the mountains of the Azure Archives. The oh. dragon flights will rise again. Melagos, at the time of the tombstone, was alive, aspect of magic. Sindragosa, deceased by Nelfarian's betrayal. Umbroskal, alive, arcane student. And Eldragosa, alive, arcane teacher. Melagos, deceased, slain by adventurers. Umbrelskull, deceased, unknown reasons. Eldragosa, deceased, unknown reasons. Saragosa, deceased, slain by unknown adventurer. Eragos, deceased, slain by infinite dragonflight. Technically, yes. Melagos, deceased, slain by own creation. So, Eragos, as we spoke about earlier, and it, it involves time travel. So in the book, Twilight of the Aspects, um, we see Thrall help out the different dragon aspects. And amongst them is Nosdormu, the aspect of time, who needs to learn to live in a moment. That's basically the moral of the story. But while learning that lesson, our Thrall goes through different timelines and he is assaulted by some weird being that wears the armor of Doomhammer, the armor that Thrall wears. Turns out that he is being assaulted by none other than Blackmore. The one who, in our timeline, kept him as a slave gladiator, was a massive drunk, and eventually was slain by Thrall. In that alternate timeline, um, I re if I remember right, he never got his hands on Thrall, and so he had to use his own merits in order to climb the ranks. And so he sobered up, he was able to take over Lordaeron, and he became the ruler with the armor, and he dominated the horde and led them to uh, victory. Uh, over the rest of the world. It was his original plan with Thrall. Like, he wanted Thrall to lead the orcs, and instead he did it himself. And he um, got into our timeline and started hunting down Thrall. Um, ultimately slaying our boy Edagos and bringing forth that five-headed dragon that I mentioned. Eldragosa was the Frostworm from Violet Hold. Saragosa was a mage hunter in Wrath. Hell yeah, bring it. As much as I would like to be like, oh yeah, I remember all these names, I do not. 
Not even a little. Uh, Umbrel Skull is an ancient blue dragon, the son of Malagosa Sindragosa and the final boss of the Usual Revolt. Oh, that's the latest, um, the one that's like, oh, I got all the shards in me, it hurts. Mm-hmm. Eldragosa is a blue dragon ghost located on top of the greenhouse at the Mage's Commerce Exchange in Daladan at the Broken Isles. At some point after her death, she was reanimated as the Frostworm Shivermaw. It's rumored that she's a Syndragosa's own brood. She is the Death Knight mouse? No, no, no. Shivermaw is a Frostworm boss in Violet Hold. Ew. Okay. Um, Saragosa is the blue dragon that we destroyed during the um, Wrath questline. So the one that I mentioned where his sister jumps in and saves Caligos. Uh The plan was... No, no, no. Sorry, I lie. Um... There was the assault on the Nexus, and at some point we uh, team up with a red dragon who is like, yo, let's take care of Malagos in order to lure Malagos out of his Nexus lair. Let us take care of his uh, consort. So we lure out the consort, they do battle, and we slay Saragosa, to which Malagos comes out of the Nexus. It all went according to the plan, except we weren't able to take him out, and so he took that red dragon inside of the Nexus, and well did things that I'm not allowed to say here um, until we had to show up into the Nexus itself and we took care of her. So if we look at the adventure guide, uh, Wrath of the Lich King, Keristraza, whether the torture inflicted on Keristraza was revenge for the death of Saragossa or a misguided attempt to turn her into an ally is known only to Malagos. Regardless of his intent, her allies have heard her cries of anguish and disturbing whispers of her diminishing mind. Yeah. Yeah. Balagos was an elder offspring of the great aspect Melagos. As a caretaker of magic, Balagos created a cerulean cube to deal with the unharnessed latent magic energy found throughout Azeroth in an effort to keep it out of the hands of undisciplined practitioners of the Arcana, or the Arcane. The cube was designed to absorb such magic and hold it re uh, reserve till the time that the blue dragonflight had need of it. But Balagos miscalculated, and upon activating the cube, the device absorbed his magic, leaving the dragon a lifeless husk. The cube came to be known as Balagos' Bane. From Twilight of the Aspect Lineages, from Night of the Dragon. Ha. Huh. Okay. Cool. Um, how many times did I look up lore and stumble upon my own videos? Ah, uh, sometimes. Not all the times, though. Sometimes. Um. Jesus. That's a lot of names. Filagosa. Relagos, Senegos, Alive, Gravekeeper, okay. Relagos died to the Burning Legion. They got an unknown disease. Wenagosa is alive for the Arcane Weaver. And a whole bunch of died to Nelfarin's Betrayal. Stelagos, Alive, Cobalt Assembly, Surveyor. Mm. Oh. Ah, oh, well. Alright, we place a gravestone. Jesus. Shilagos, Deceased Magical Accident, Vetrigosa, Farkigos, Pilkigosa. In the Nexus War, Magical Accident, Slain by the Black Dragonflight. Deceased Pierced Dimensional Boundary. That sounds cool. Hmm. Magical Accidents, of course, because that happens to the Blue Dragons. Uh huh. Uh, Uplagosa, Ygrigosa, Brigligos, and Wolfigosa. <laughs> what are names? Crystal Song, Forest Disaster. Aww. Uh, Sephiron. Ah, uh, Sephiron was still a whelpling back in these days. Not anymore, though, is he? No. Oh. Slain by the Lich King, Arcanagos, deceased, slain by Medivh. Oh, right. Ah, oh, that was the final Karazhan. Slain by Kin, slain by Kin, Velagos, deceased, unknown. Terragosa, defeat, deceased by self sacrifice. Keldragos, slain by dwarves, slain by Butelis. So, Medragosa is from the Burning Crusade raid. Keldrigos. A dragon slain by a group of mortals many years ago. Oh, where do we find him? Uh, 
Many details about the battle are shrouded in mystery. Several unknown elements, including the data battle, the total number of participants, and the specific reason the party was formed against the dragon. The outcome of several of the participants can be determined through archaeology. The pieces were put together from fragments in areas occupied by the dwarves. His gravestone dragon house confirms that he was killed by dwarves. Oh. Cute. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's really cute to be added. To be fair, um, like stuff like the, um, the Horde uh, Heritage Armor quest line, or other quests where they're, they're recalling all the lore and actually remembering all these names. It's just, well, cute Bane quest line where all of a sudden you see like this, those that rescue Bane back in the Come day. Come closer, little one. My eyes are not what they used to be. These dragons were my family and friends. Many were lost in Elfari's betrayal. Some, sadly, were lost afterwards. There was a time when I fought about their faces every day. I must admit that in my old age, I've forgotten what many of them even looked like. Ah, do not linger on that sad thought. There will come a time when I shall see them once again. May the wisdom of the Titans guide you. I believe it is time for a nap. There is great power within you. The preparations wisely. are now complete. Caligos and Alexstrasza should be here soon with the remaining essences of Sindragosa and Melagos. Both suffered such violent ends. I heard even with his last breath, Melagos cursed Alexstrasza. And Sindragosa, she was slain by 10,000 years ago by Nelfar, by Deathwing. Yet she was reanimated by the Lich King and slain by adventurers. I can only imagine the state this essence is in. Forget my ramblings. Do what you must. They should be here. Save the world, hero. Shortly. Oh, here they are now. Greetings, Caligos. And to you, Lifebinder. Ah, Senegos. I saw the remnants of your arcane ball. I am heartened to see you have not forgotten your hmm. old ways. Caligos. You may do the honors to lay the essences of Malagos and Syndragosa to rest. Thank you. Syndragosa, Malagos, I am sorry it took us so long to give you this peace. May you have the rest now you were robbed of in life. You know, I kind of wonder where dragons go into the afterlife. Alex Shraza saw his arcane ball, yes. The blue dragon flight is but a shadow. Watch yourselves. The essences seem to be emitting some strange arcane energy. It was Aww. not uncommon for powerful blue dragons to have their memories reanimate in this way. Once they were put to rest. Stella Gosan and I can investigate this. I believe you have more of our kind to locate, correct? Um. So, okay, so these are memories like we have no Orange Betrayal, uh, Tera, um, the torture by the Lich King, and the Betrayal by Alex during the Nexus War. Um, I mean, you said I was in the Shadowlands, yes, but at the same time... Um, we could argue that it was there like the green dragon connection. Like the green dragons are connected to the Emerald Dream. And we know that the Emerald Dream is connected to Ardenweald. Ardenweald is like the odd duckling when it comes to the domains of the Shadowlands. In the case of other dragons, I don't recall seeing any of them. Um, and we, we know that um, mortal souls are meant for the Shadowlands. And then magical beings, they go elsewhere. What are magical beings... Kind of depends on uh, definition how Blizzard wants to play it. But for example, a Titan does not belong in the Shadowlands. They would go to Titanlands. Um, a uh, demon, for example, they go back to the Twisting Nether. Um, even uh, a mortal, like a demon hunter, goes back to the Twisting Nether. So where exactly do Dragonlands? Like, do dragons go to Dragonlands or, you know? I, I am the oldest of my kind. I forgot about this phenomenon. Blue dragons who meet violent ends occasionally have some lingering arcane energy. That energy may manifest in various ways once the essences are laid to rest. Luckily, it is a simple enough process to dispel them. Simply wave anything through the energy and it will dissipate. I shall investigate the essences of Syndragos and Malagos within the gravestone while the you handle that. How strange. Are these remnants from Malagos and Syndragos's past? Yes. It would seem so. It appears they were unable to truly depart from this world when they were slain. I saw many strange phenomena such as this. 
when I laid to rest the blue dragons that made it back here from Neltharion's betrayal. Aww. <laughs> it was a tragedy that so many were killed, including Sindragosa. Even then, the Lich King allowed her no rest. It pained me to see her raised into undeath. I could not believe it when word reached my brood of what happened to her. It is a small blessing that she did not linger for long in such a state. Death Knights. Syndragosa and Malagos both deserved better. <sighs> I hope now we have given them their proper rest. Death Knights of the World, when you do this quest line, does Alexstrasza make mention that you resurrected one of the dragons into undeath as well? Does she go like, <clears throat> like certain mortals should know better as well, beyond eradicating my entire shrine? Like, does she do that? No? Aww. Wasted opportunity. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that traitorous sister. A caster and an attacker. Ha ha ha. You feel memories begin to seep into the corners of your minds. It feels as as though they were your very own. Cast out from your fellow aspects, the great Malagos left alone to protect Azeroth from mortals. <laughs> the others do not understand what you've been through. You were at the forefront against Nelfarian, and you lost everything. Sindragosa, your flight, your very minds. Yet you still sought to save Azeroth from itself. And for that, your once beloved sister helped leave the band of adventurers to slay you. The image does not vanish, but instead fills your mind with more images. A battle, destruction of your very self, the sadness of your fellow aspects at your death. Yet, a small part survived. They called it the heart of magic. They did not know it still contained the loss of your essence. Sheesh. You feel regrets seeing the faces of those you once loved. Perhaps you were the ones who betrayed them. You do not have long to dwell on this, as the memories return to violence, death, destruction, torment. That is all you know now, and there is no escape. The mortals on aspects must pay for their actions. Our boy Malagos has been feeling that torture all this time. Look, I'm sorry, I just needed the blue dra the, the blue dragon mounts that dropped. I, I didn't mean I didn't mean to do that. Be at peace now, buddy. Be at peace. Well, I'm sure this will be a lot more joyous. As you look at the figure, the memories associated flood into your mind as if they were your own. You are risen from the dead. And there's a figure, the Lich King. He knows your name is Sindragosa. You are bound to his will. The once vibrant personality you had is gone, replaced with hatred and bitterness. Hatred towards Malagos who abandoned you. Bitterness towards the world that betrayed you. Is this what you've become? Where does the Lich King's will end and Sindragosa's begin? The memory does not go away and instead more flesh is in filling your mind. Abominations testing your strength, torturing you, preparing you to fight the enemies of the Lich King. Adventurers surrounding you, wielding their pathetic magics against your might. You are eventually destroyed, but not fully. Your essence was entrapped within crystalline form and handed to the one named Caligos. You scream in fury. They believe you are at peace. They do not know you are stranded. Once again, no one is coming to save you. You are trapped for eternity inside this crystal. Just as you believe the memories end, it begins again, rising from the dead, full of hatred. Ostro, it's a bit, de it's a bit depressing. It's just a wee bit depressing. Damn. Um, I chose Refion. I don't know if it made a difference, Charlie, but I chose Refion. You see the image of Nelfarian, the former Black Dragon aspects. And memories begin to flash as if they were your own. You were suspicious of Nelfarian. Malagos trusted him. They fought Galagrond together. And together they saved Azeroth. Who were you to go against that? You put aside your suspicions. It was paranoia to believe an aspect would become corrupted. And yet... It happened. 
You cursed yourself when the fighting began. You should have taken a stand. You could have stopped this. This all happens because of your inaction. Sindragosa, the Azure Queen, would be no more. I believe that in the dungeon where we party with Sindragosa, like the vault, um, I believe there is um, diaries of Sindragosa where she actually makes mention of this. Like, she did not trust Nelfarian, but she did not talk to Melagos about it. The image stubbornly refuses to be dispelled. Instead, more images appear in your minds. You are gravely wounded. Before you lost your sight, you saw the blue dragons wiped out in an instant. You are flung into the cold reaches of Norfrent, far from your home and the Azure Archives, far from your intended resting place in the Veiled Ossuary. Perhaps you could reach Dragonblight. Find your rest there. You call out for your love, Melagos, but he doesn't answer. You realize there will be no rest. You are alone. Love for the world of mortals to the place with hatred before everything fades. Huh. Very sad. It is good to see you. There is great power within you. Use it wisely. That should do it. Though it is odd, not all of the memories were dispelled as quickly as I'd hoped. Let's speak with Caligos to let him know that we should keep an eye on this. The dragon flights will rise again. The veiled ossuary only for the blue flight. Good question. Doubt it. May but good the question. wisdom of the titans guide you. It is not unusual that Melagos and Cinderagosa would have such powerful memories. From what I understand, their deaths were particularly painful. Both slain by adventurers. It breaks my heart to think of Cinderagosa enduring death not once, but twice, after being raised by the Lich King. But enough of this old dragon's ramblings. Stelagos and I will meet you back at the Do archives. What you must to save the world, hero. Are you just gonna chill here, yeah? Greetings, my friend. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, like the ossuary is in Teldresses, which is the home of all the flights as well as the bronze flights. Um, and this, no, I remember exploring this place. This has like different tombs for different flights, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's see what else you got. Also, again, where's Ketgar? Oh, Ketgar. Surely he's got to be part of this quest line, right? I'm glad right? you've come. Um, do the new uh, Embers of Nelfarian content. Check the inn. We have an inn. What? <laughs> uh. Hi there. Tiragosa, hello. What brings you here? I am How you doing? Okay. Cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiragosa. Kay Did you just call Tiragosa Calix old mate? Oh, <gasps> you did not. You did no, 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 no. That is not the relationship that we had, okay? Calix only goes for human girls. No, she wasn't. Like she was his intended, but there was never any spark, if if you will. She just, she just went for humans as well. I'm pretty, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that Tirigos and Kalik never, um, should we ask him? Hey, Kalik, you and Tiri, eh? You and Tiri? His befrothed, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, everyone. <clears throat> was Envina actually a human? Uh, she believes she was. I mean, how do you explain the magical essence of the Sunwell? Like... She thought she was a human. I'm a human, a volunteer. <laughs> she was a lake. <laughs> I mean, is Jaina a human? I mean... <clears throat> Thank you for your help. As you can see, more blue dragons have arrived, yet some are still missing, and we cannot forget about them. I will also ensure that we find out more information about this strange phenomenon of Melagos and Cinderagos' memories. Fair skies and strong winds. 
Many of the Blue Dragons have returned, and many others have informed me of their plans to make their way to the Isles. There are a few key members of the flight, however, that I have not heard from. One of them may be able to help. Azuragos, stationed within the Nexus in Northrend. You, myself, and Sindragosa will travel to meet with Azuragos. He has ignored all of my attempts to contact him from afar. Thanks to the O-Stone being empowered, Sindragosa can now travel further than ever before. Come back. I am quite curious to meet this Azuragos, after all you have told me about him. He would have been a boon had he answered our original call for aid. Yeah, but he doesn't really like you though, does he, Kalik? No, he does not. Also, did you... I believe we can help Did you tell the whole other. story? This is all your fault, isn't it, Calicos? It's absolute chaos here. And you just happen to show up to make things worse. Azure a ghost? You shall cease this behavior at once. Show respect to your aspect. And inform us of the situation <laughs> you find yourself in. Yes, Mom. Lady Sindragosa? <laughs> Ha 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 ha, mom told you off. Well, if it isn't you. It is me. Wouldn't you like to know? This was formerly Melago's domain. It is filled with magic that he discovered much during his state of madness. Now I'm in charge of the place. It's not safe to allow any random mortal to walk in and take what's in there. That's all you get from me. My research and what I found within are my own business. Going so soon. I mean, you did leave two mortals in there, but, you know, whatever. I'm overjoyed to see you. Perhaps Calix timing is not as bad as I thought, especially if he has the simulacrum of Lady Cinderagosa with him. My, look at the time. Of course I can help track down the missing blue dragons. However, I have a mess on my hands that must be addressed. Moments ago, several bursts of arcane energy swept through the Nexus, followed by attacks of strange arcane creatures. I can create a method of tracking down the blue dragons if you put down the locations of this wild arcana. Take this off, don't break it, and use it on the three locations within the Nexus. Oh, and prepare yourself for a fight. Dude, I apologize, Lady Sindragosa. I did not realize I was in the presence of your simulacrum. I have heard much of you from Caligos, young Azuragos. Hmm. <laughs> oh? And how did our mighty aspect describe me? I told Sindragosa you're a recluse, stubborn, and prone to cutting ties with any who slight you. But I trust you to aid me in being the aspect the Blue Dragons deserve. I called for your aid in the Azure Span, but you did not answer. I called for you when the Oath Stone was activated, but you ignored me. You may never believe in me, but I need you to believe in your flight and help us find the others who are missing. I mean... I will do what I can. Now, do you know what is happening here? Judging by the remnants here, I believe we're still seeing the after-effects of putting Sindragosa in Malagos' essences to rest. Senegos mentioned this was an uncommon circumstance, but it appears its effects are more widespread than we thought. I mean, at the same time, Kalik, you kind of did tell your whole Blue Dragon flight to just, you know, figure stuff out on their own. It's all fine and dandy that you had a change of mind and that you're like, okay, everybody come back home now, but... You can't really blame them for doing what you told them to do to begin with. Come on now. That's not fair. Anywho. Disruptive Arcana. Happening all around. Look at all these people doing a questline, by the way. You come into my domain. Whose domain? Memory of an attacker. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're re-witnessing the memory of uh, the Nexus War. Gotcha. That doesn't didn't this do that didn't do anything though. Defender, attacker, and then there's gonna be the murderous traitor sister. Yes. Yeah, okay. Shows how many people will play for no power reward? What? You're gonna tell me I'm not gonna get any power from this? Oh! <gasps> <clears throat> I mean, what?
Hey, that's done. This is the undead. Oh, okay. And then the next one's gonna be an Elfarian. Yes. Has to be. Oh no, it's all undead. Okay. Ah. Memory of a defender. I mean, flight stones are kind of an upgrade. Definitely. It's a little bit of a power, but I think it's more to do with just stuff to do in the game, right? I think people will play content if there's actually content to do. No, shockingly, I'm very smart like that. The icy winds of Northrend will consume your souls. I can, I can still hear the voice in the back of my mind. Your prophetic magics will betray you. I've done what I can to create a method to find the other blue dragons. You have my thanks, Azurgos. The arcane disruptions have also calmed down for now, thanks to our friend. You are a fascinating one. I know, right? Things appear much calmer now. I suppose I better investigate how widespread these wild memories will become. Going so soon. Pish. Archival arrival. I have crafted a magical globe to help you find the remaining blue dragons. It should give you their rough locations. Now go on. Top. Uh, now go. On top of everything else I was working on, I must now investigate these memories that detect the Nexus. I shall get to the bottom Do of this. take care out there. Thank you again, Azuragos. Keep me informed of anything you find regarding these memories. I must focus my efforts in finding the other blue dragons. You will be the first to know of how much of a burden you have pushed on to me. Azuragos, a word of advice, if you would hear me. Lady Sindragosa, I would be honored to hear your words. I know why you seclude yourself in the Nexus. You look to break the barriers of our realms, to find the one you once loved. Really? To bring one that belongs in another world, to the world of the living. Oh. I had hoped when the gateway to the Shadowlands opened, I would find a way. No. Oh. But all I have are more questions than answers. What you wish is impossible, Azure Ghost. If you continue to search for answers alone, your love will turn to bitter hatred, both for the one you care for, and for the world that refused to give you the answers you seek. Seek aid in your fellow blue dragons. You may never find your answer, but they will help mend your heart. I mean... Thank you, Lady Sindragosa. I shall carry your words with me for the rest of my days. You, you had to only ask. I could have taken you with. I spent a lot of time there. I got like a lot of connections. Like we could have we could have searched together, man. They can even come here if you want. Like they're not stuck in the Shadowlands. I'm just saying you don't have to break the barrier between anything. All they really need is wanting to come over. So Azura goes, maybe that's the real question. Maybe your beloved spirit healer doesn't want to be with you. You ever consider that one? Hmm. And we met Azura goes. My god, you can grate cheese on those. Um, anyways, we met Azura goes during Classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Azura goes is that world dragon boss and part of the Scepter of the Shifting uh, Sands questline. And he got so pissed off at Moors of the World constantly killing him that he decided to chill in the Shadowlands, in the world between, right? Like where we go if we die. And that's where he met his little spirit healer, Love, and that's where... God, what was it? Cataclysm? It must have been Cataclysm. Uh, Calyx showed up again and disturbed him. And um, he was like, yo, come help me out, become the new aspect. Mm -hmm. Look at that, we got a little globe, all the locations now. <laughs> Sorry. In my mind, right, what was gonna happen? Was we were gonna check on Jaina's home and there was gonna be a blue dragon in there and Kaelic was gonna lose his shit. My mind just all of a sudden came up with a really cool story. <laughs> ah, her name is Anora. There you go. It's not gonna be the storyline though, but it was kind of fun in my mind. 
Uh, he's trying to bring back his spirit healer girlfriend. His, his Kyrian spirit healer love, yes. Because not all spirit healers are Kyrian, by the way. Some of them are also Valkyr. Let's not forget about that. This world is full of wonder. And I'm pretty sure it was a Valkyr. Uh, hopefully Azuragos will join us later. In the meantime, we have the whole of Azeroth to search. Together, we can achieve anything. Azuragos has narrowed down the locations of the missing blue dragons. Each of us will handle finding several of them. I would entrust you to aid us in finding a few others. Choose where you'd like to go first. All will be well. Oh? <laughs> They're in Feramor! <laughs> Jaina, what you doing? <laughs> The blue dragon Surigosa was last seen investigating a sect of rogue mages known as the Sully Bender. Just to double check, I get to check all of them? Or do I only pick one? You get to do all of them. Beautiful. Okay. Um... Surigos has last missed stated that she intended to travel to the ruins of Fedamore. Perhaps she uncovered trace of the Sully Bander. Either way, Surigos has to be found. Fedamore seems the best place to search. Alright, that's cool. There's magic in everything. Fedamore? I would rather not return to that place, but if Surigos is there, then perhaps there's work to be done. Fly true. So long as there's been magic, there's been those willing to utilize it for nefarious ends. I'm not certain what grievances these rogue mages hold that has prompted Surigos to chase him down, that I'm inclined to trust their judgment on the matter. Let's go. Perhaps we can solve this rogue mage problem and convince Surigosa to return in a single turn. Good Theramore. Of all the places to go. Zurigo said in his notes that he intended to seek out Surigosa himself. If the situation is truly so dire, then I shall accompany you on your way. It would be wise to avoid getting too close until we are apprised of the situation. This portal will take us to the cliffs just beyond Theramore. Sick. Um, so Fedamore, Fedamore was Jaina's place to be. Um, in the book Tides of War, we find out that, um, while escorting the focusing Iris, which is like this powerful magical device from the Nexus, Caleb figured, you know, it's best to keep this out of the hands of mortals. Uh, while escorting them, they were attacked, and the Horde stole the focusing Iris. And the Horde then turned the focusing Iris into a mana bomb, and decided to nuke Fedamore City. During the storyline, Kalik actually shows up at Fedamore and he's like, Oh, Jaina, I just can't find the mana bomb. Whatever I do, I can't find it. And Jaina was like, Bomb chicka wow wow. Don't worry, baby. Just notice how magical our connection is right now. For you see, I am a powerful being just like Envina was. You remember Envina, don't you, little Kalik? Well, I'm Jaina Proudmore. And I'm here right now. Um, so they got together. And unfortunately, Archaelic was unable to stop the mana bomb from being dropped to Fedamore, which then caused Jaina's hair to turn white and the whole Vengeance quest line, creating a massive tidal wave. Uh, but ultimately, he stuck at Jaina's side as he became the ruler of the Kirin Tor. Does mean that uh, Fedamore is a little bit bombed right now. By the way, by the way, by the way. <clears throat> Remember Fedamore? Remember Fedamore! <laughs> I love 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 the tavern so much it's gonna end up on the trading post at some point but i love it that nobody else has it right now find surigosa in fedamor okay it's still broken ain't it it's still burning huh you imagine somebody would do something with the land now I mean, yeah, everybody kind of vaporized, and it was like arcane corruption. I see your intuition corrupted. was correct, Azuragos. Here comes Caligos' mortal now. It wasn't us, the Blood Elves. It was Garrosh and the Goblins that did it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, the Blood Elves did not turn that into a mana bomb at all. Nah, it was purely the Goblins and Garrosh. Ah, yeah. greetings and whatnot. Well, this ought to be interesting. Surigosa is one of our more enthusiastic hunters of rogue mages, and she's really quite good at her job. She's the one who sniffed out this Sully banner in the first place, after all. Our dear Aspect, however, seems intent on handling this matter bloodlessly. I suppose that will be where you come in, mortal. My, look at the time. Greetings, mortal. You and your hangers-on have arrived just in time to see me obliterate this pack of miscreant magi. 
These precious whelps seem to be trying to recreate the very bomb that level Fedamor. Predictably, they've yet to succeed. Still, I would rather not give them a chance to stumble into a more effective solution. If their aspect wishes to avoid simply turning the whole lot of them into mana dust, then I suppose I could refrain from carpeting the ruin in Spellfrost. Someone will need to go in and repossess their banal attempts at ordinance, though. Do take care not to set them off, hmm? Do not deli, mortal. I stand with you. I have always hoped that mages would once again walk the streets of Fermor. This, however, is not what I had in mind. If this Sully Banner truly intends to reconstruct a working mana bomb, then it must be stopped. But I will not repeat the mistakes that Melagos made. There must be a way to reason with them. I shall place an enchantment upon you that will allow you to subdue the mages without killing them. See to it that they cannot conceal their ill-intended actions. Um... I was going to argue, like, this would be a good opportunity to bring Jaina into the storyline and have her interact with Caligos, but at the same time, the spotlight right now is on Caligos as an aspect. How does he rule the Blue Dragon, and especially compared to how someone like Melagos used to do it. Um, so perhaps Jaina here would have taken too much All away from that. All will be well. This Death Ward should blunt your blows and allow you to subdue the mages without killing them. Find us near the docks when you are done. The path of mercy again, Kalegos. I would have thought your encounter with Razagith would have at last relieved you of that impulse. Every time Malagos chose to intervene in the affairs of mortals, mages died. And where has that brought us? I will not perpetuate that cycle of destruction any longer. Is that so? Show us then. But do not expect us to clean up your mess if this goes wrong. You lead our flight, Caligos. We will do things your way. Let us hope your peaceable solution does not end buried under the corpses of dragons. This is... Hmm. Thank you for your aid, my friend. Mm -hmm. With your help, we will show them that there is another way. I really, really like this questline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is some uh, some deep stuff. Weirdly, like it's uh. ah, this is this is some good stuff. I'm being whispered. Hello, got anything nice in the chest? Mwah, how much? Nah, city's still not fixed. Um, we're supposed to. Oh, we're supposed to pacify them. In Ronin's name. What? Flee, my friends. The dragons have come. For those we have lost. Huh. Oh, look at that. Little mana bombs. How cute. I mean, if you want a real mana bomb, just go to Daladan. But we just... Oh, Ronin. Do not let them pause. She is nearly done. We will avenge Feramor. Remember Feramor! Hell yeah. Curse you dragon's lapdog. Ha! Cool. Why would we rebuild the city? To uh, keep an eye on the filthy horde and make sure that they don't cause any trouble again. I mean, <clears throat> maintain peaceful relationships with the newly established horde. Feramor will be avenged. Ha ha ha. Oh look, they're trying to rebuild Feramor. Cool. Come to finish the job. It's been years. What the what do you mean? What do you mean come to finish the job? It's been years. Now nah, I mean rebuilding Feramor. Um What for? Right? Like Jaina has. Okay, so Jaina, when Fedamor was blown up, Jaina got corrupted by the mana bomb and she went on this quest for vengeance. And eventually she got with the plan of, I'm going to take uh, the focusing items for myself and I'm going to create a massive tidal wave and I'm going to wash away all of Orgrimmar. Men, women and children, it did not matter to Jaina, she was going to wash away everything. Our boy Thrall showed up and um, he tried to stop her with his elemental might. So you gotta imagine that this is Cataclysm Thrall, right? Like this is a god amongst gods just at the end of um, the Cataclysm. And he barely, he barely managed to hold her back. He barely managed to hold that tidal wave under control. 
Um, then Calix showed up and Calix started talking to her like Jaina, look, and Thrall was talking to her as well. Um, and Calix told her like, look, do you want to become another Arthas? Like, what the hell are you trying to do? Like, yes, Garrosh messed up. We will bring Garrosh to justice, but wiping away Orgrimmar is not the way to go. To which Jaina decided like, okay, this is not the way to go. Um, and she instead used the tidal wave to defeat Garrosh and his fleet and help the Alliance. Um, to which she then joined uh, the Kid and Tor again, and she became the leader of Dalaran. And as it turns out, the Red Dragon Coriolstras, who is the mate of Alexstrasza, prime consort, but dead now, uh, before their demise, they left prophecy behind, and they actually prophesied that Jaina was going to become the leader of Dalaran. That's why Ronin sacrificed himself in the tower. Now, unfortunately, that storyline kind of went back on itself again, because Jaina, once again, during Mr. Pandaria, got betrayed by the Horde, and the whole purge of Dalaran took place. But that's neither here nor there. This is more to the bombing of Edamor. You are soft, Caligos. You always have been. These mages are a threat and should be treated as such. They fly the flag of Theramore. These people are grieving. They fear for their lives. I am certain they can be reasoned with. Quiet your steps, mortal. Lest you spook their leader. Who's their leader? Well met, friend. This ought to be interesting. Surugosa is one of... Oh, I already spoke about that. Do take care out there. Arcane magic has always been well suited to matter of stasis and security. I'm pleased that we could put a such effect here. Still, the question remains. What drove these mages to such reckless action in the Good first luck. place? You probably could have killed me. Those dragons definitely could have killed me, but you didn't. I do not understand, but I am grateful. You probably could have killed me. Those dragons definitely could have killed me. Um, Master Ronin never would have wanted any of this, but we didn't know what else to do. If you truly wish to show us mercy, then please let Turi go. She was only trying to help us find some closure. Turi. Turi? Uh, Serona would have never wanted this. Spare me your judgmental gaze. In my shoes, you would have done the same thing. Hey, look, I'm all on your side. Hell yeah. Where's Kindia? Well, Paladin, I suppose you're not as hapless as most mortals who cross my path. You may deserve some modicum of recognition for your deft work. Uh, not for me, mind you. <laughs> 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, I like you too. You're not gonna get that recognition from me though. If you want a pat on the hat, you can go ask Helicos. <laughs> oh, with many of the rank and file captured, it is time to deal with the leader of this so-called sullied banner. I imagine Caligos wishes to take her alive. I have no such compunctions, but uh, I am not a picky dragon. So long as we put a stop to her schemes, I care little of what happens to her. Uh, his plan, though troublesome, seems to work thus far. I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, at least for a short while longer. There is Turi Flickerflame, one of the late Ronin's wayward apprentices. Sorrow and regret have driven her to unconscionable ends. Huh. Neat. That's kind of cute. The leader of the Soli Banner is working nearby. Sirigosa tells me that she is quite powerful. I will accompany you to ensure your safety, but... No, Caligos. The mortal must go alone. Our presence will merely exacerbate the situation. She will feel more threatened. We are breaking the cycle, yes? You make a fair point. Very well. We shall remain here, friend. Please stop their leader. Before she does something, she comes to regret. Thank you very much, Charlie. Okay. Pretty cool. They should talk to Windrunner, to be honest. No, this was not on PTR. That is correct. This is... Um, I don't even remember them data mining dialogue for this. So this has all been locked up, which is quite nice. I honestly wish that they... Um, I really wish that they would like lock down more of their storytelling. Like I know that they've used the story a lot for promotion in Dragonflight. And again, I think that's because there isn't a whole lot of content to talk about. So therefore, they're talking about the story. 
Um, but there's something magical taken away when you don't experience it in game, in my humble opinion. And that is from somebody who data mines, of, who reads data mine stuff and who tests out PTR and loves to share beta. But I think for the quality of storytelling and for the quality of the game, for the sake of those we lost, I won't let you stop me. Locking up stuff is better. That way you can experience context, uh, you can experience with everybody else. And it's so much better, but yeah. Movie Jack, thank you very much for the two months, baby. Hello, hello, hello. At the same time, um, they also need to work on releasing stuff at the same time. Like the Renown quest, uh, somebody just blitzed through Renown and was able to spoil what was going to happen. Uh, or in this case, like this release yesterday on the US, why couldn't they s do the switch for the EU as well? But yeah. I'm overjoyed to see you. Going so soon. Uh, where did you put her? What's she called again? Turi? Target Turi. Ah, uh, not, not targetable. Alright. I admit, <clears throat> I did not expect things to go this way. Dead gnome. No, mage's flicker flame. She has suffered much. It makes sense that she would wish to cultivate her power in order to avert further tragedies from coming to pass. Caligo says that we must be mediators and protectors, not hoarders of secrets. I think I'm beginning to understand what he means. I do not understand what would drive 2D Flicker Flame and the Band of Mages to attempt what they've done here today, but I do understand the pain of losing family. I understand the fear and regret that follows you wherever you go. I have much to think about. I imagine Caligo's has much yet to do in a Dragon House. Return there with him. I will follow soon. I need some time to think upon what happened here today. Thank you for your aid, my friend. And for yours, Suragosa. I do not know where we would be without your hard work. You three should get back to the Isles. I will meet you there. I need to speak with Turi first. I must admit, Caligos, I did not think your plan would work. But you seem to have cleaned things up rather nicely. No, not yet. There is more work to be done. Caligos. Oh, blessed it all. Well, go on then, hero. No doubt you wish to hear what is said in there. As for me, I have other matters to see to, now that this mess has been resolved. Come to laugh at me then? Or maybe just to crush me underfoot? I want to... I want to know why you're doing this. Why would you try what to recreate something so horrid? Have? We had to protect ourselves! I, I couldn't do a thing to stop the first mana bomb, and because of that, Ronin and Kindy and everyone is gone! Aww. You were supposed to protect us. You were supposed to keep things like this from happening, but you didn't. And now, our home is gone. We can't ever get it back. Turi Flickerflame, yes? I remember you. You were one of Ronin's apprentices. You speak the truth. We tried to protect the focusing iris. We tried to protect Theramore and its people. But we failed. Nothing I say can ever bring back the Fallen. There are no words to properly express the regret I feel towards what happened here. But this... We can move forward together, Turi. We can be better than those who came before. I just... I just miss them so much. I know. But come. I would hear your thoughts on the future that you want to build. For your allies, as one of Ronan's apprentices, I would very much appreciate your insight. <sighs> oh, man. Don't listen to him, Turi. Always remember Fedamore, man. Always remember Fedamore. Oh, we gotta move on. Oh, we gotta move on. Yeah, A plus voice acting. It's good to see you again. Phenomenally well done. Holy shit. Like, you, you could argue, like, it's a bit, it's, Fedamore destroyed us a long time ago, but at the same time, those wounds are still there, right? I like that they're mentioning Kindy as well. Kindy, pretty much a, a book only character. With the exception of, um, I think they added, like, her father in Daladan lighting the lights, which is kind of cute. Um, yeah. It's really, really solid. Holy shit. 
Whew. Give two of the an award? Yes. Well met, my young friend. Suragosa and Azuragos are hardly the only members of my flates to question my more measured approach to the misuse of magic. I'm glad for their perspectives and their willingness to check my optimism. Still, I hope that they will come to see things as I do now. We have much yet to do. Fair skies and strong winds. Thank you for your help so far. We still got more blue dragons to track down though. I'll give you the honors of Together, choosing we can achieve anything. Where to go next? Winter Spring, Jade Forest, Booty Bay, Crystal Song. Booty Bay is where um Booty Bay is where um your uh, not sister went. Not Thierry, the other one. Land of pirates, swindlers, and raiders. Zeros, once just captive whelpling, has built a mighty reputation as an auction house trader in one of the most cutthroat places of Azeroth. However, his recent investment, Blunder, made the front page of the Booty Bay Journal. Rescue him before his debt is collected by the Baron. <laughs> what? Cool. Okay, let's go there. Come closer, little one. My you think I know? are not what they used to be. Will do, Chow. Do you think I know anything about Booty Bay? Why, yes. Yes, I, I do. I believe it is time for a nap. You will not believe who I read about today in the Booty Bay Journal. What's that look, Noble? I too enjoy light reading about world affairs, and Booty Bay is fascinating. Regardless, I read about Zeros. He was once the captive of an evil mage who hated all blue dragons. It looks as though he has found his own way in the world since his rescue. A bit of advice for you, young one. That is a foolish thing to be in. Especially in Booty Bay. And especially to the Baron. Let's retrieve him before the sharks. May the wisdom of the Titans guide you. Check Senegos's book. Where's his book? Where's Senegos's book? And somebody's yelling in Furbolg. I did not know you could speak in Furbolg. I don't understand what they're talking about. Talk to him first and it will spawn. Ah, okay. Uh, I've heard some fascinating things about Booty Bay. If you have any history there with the goblins or otherwise, we best covered it up. It will make our rescue much easier. <laughs> Behind me, my friend. Oh, we in may case... Use this portal to go to Booty Bay. In case you have if to like you to wish, you can read about Zeros in the Booty Bay Journal. In case you have like your reputation on hostile with Booty Bay, oh that's cute. Okay. This book glows with blue magic. The current page is emblazoned with a news header titled Booty Bay Journal. Crystal Schmistles, don't fall for this scam. A report by anonymous contributor. Magical blue crystals? They certainly exist, but not in Booty Bay. After the thorough examination, I formally declared that these crystals to be as worthy as reused glass. All crystals have been taken off the local auction house so that the credibility of our sellers may be preserved. Although, it may be too late for Zeros, the primary seller of these crystals. You have to believe me when I say that a trusted source told me Zeros took a loan from the Baron himself for this investment. Let's hope that Zeros is the first and last victim of this scam. Metaplasm Mage today had quite the magical potential. I would have offered a mentor her if times were different. She was very energetic, and Emma Gosa particularly favored her presence. We had a very successful encounter against the Withered. The mage left us shortly after. She looked particularly troubled uh, any time that we were fighting the Withered. It was as though there were more than just pity there, as if she felt that she could have been one of them, were her magical upbringing less fortunate. Oh, something like in the direction of Valtois, yeah? Oh... Uh. I'm uncertain if I will see the light of day tomorrow. I've accepted this and I'm saying my goodbyes. The Withered are motivated by something far stronger and primal than anyone could have imagined. Their hunger is a force to be reckoned with. I never did get to see the Dragon Isles again. For you, Runas. The journal entry for today is just for you. Thank you. Ah, uh, one of the saddest moments in WoW, by the way. The Runas ashamed quest line. What well, is awkward? I seem to have survived every moment in which I predicted certain death. <laughs> I have been trying to reach out to Caligos on new aspects. None of my calls have been returned. I understand that he is needed everywhere, but surely he values the wisdom of one such as myself. Ah, he's young and perpetually busy, like all the rest of them. We have the my years to remember what really matters far more frequently. Perhaps I will try to call him again tonight. It's certainly been a turbulent few years, has it not? Yet here I am, back in the Dragon Isles. It has changed and is still changing, but it is home. I know it in my bones. 
Let us see what adventures await me until the very end. Ah, cute. Yeah, yeah, Gary. This is a um, new storyline edit today. Or yesterday, if you're on the US side of things. Baron, you must believe me. I don't care about the truth. Only the weight of gold in my hands. If I'm not repaid in full soon, we'll balance the scales with your own zeros. Oh, uh, hello there, stranger. Get your hands off me. Oh, wait a minute. You're Whatever not from you around need. here. Now, get to work, zeros. If you try to run, we'll find you and clip your wings. Hmm. I might have liked this place when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Senegos? What are you doing all the way out here? Haven't you heard the call, young one? I am here to bring you to the Dragon Isles. Ah, yes. Well, things being what they are... <laughs> Cute. Zeros is a well to rescue from a rare mob in Azuna. Yeah, okay. Look, believe it or not, I'd be in the aisles already if it wasn't for unfinished business. Recent events have not been kind to me. I owe the Baron, and nobody owes the Baron for long. He will absolutely fine and skin me if I don't pay up. I invested his money in these magic crystals, but their price has crashed in the market because of the front page ripper in the Booty Bay Journal. And the shipment of crystals is also missing. Someone must be plotting my demise. Perhaps the good stitches will help me. Here. Out with it, Zeros. Have you gotten yourself in trouble? That goblin didn't seem to care much for you. <laughs> Why didn't you simply eat him? <laughs> He's the Baron! And you are a blue dragon. <laughs> Albeit a young one. Shh! I took on a more mature visage for him to do business. Please don't blow my cover. Besides, and I don't like violence. I deal in gold, not blood. Everyone is your friend here. Until you're broke and need their time. Let's hope I've made at least one real friend all these years. I believe you may handle this, my friend. Zeros seems to know what to do. Okie dokie. A short nap calls my name. Oh. You know where to find me. Senegos, you go do your thing. I got this. Don't worry about it. Uh, you're really not going to help a friend in need? I might be dead tomorrow, you know. Okay, well, that, that doesn't look promising. Yoo-hoo. What are you talking about? Uh, mm, let it work in supplies. Oh. Be good. I shouldn't be surprised that no one will help me for free. Good Ask him to a price. See you. Wh what do you want? So long, friend. Glad I could help. Information ain't cheap. Out of everybody, Zero should know that the best. People have cited dangerous cocklist around Janeiro's point. You know what I see? I see money, money, money. Give me the precious skins and maybe I'll remember something important about those crystals that Zeros is after. If that's too dangerous for your cup of tea, I might be open to other forms of payment too, you know. The most common form. Holds his arm and waits expectantly. Give gold. Hurry back. I can either go and kill Croclisks or I can offer a thousand gold. Okay. Uh, double or nothing. I'll attempt to haggle. <laughs> Triple it is. Never mind. <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you 3,000 gold. Are you mad? I'll, I'll go get some stupid crocolisks. Why not? Watch everybody in the world getting some crocolisks. Oh, nobody is... <laughs> Nobody's getting it. All right. Uh, okay, still a fair few people, I suppose. All right. Um, over yonder. Come here. I mean, 
3k is nothing. But if we're going to be telling a story, we're going to be telling a story, right? And in my case, it's very much... If I would be my paladin, they could kiss my booty. They're not going to get 3k. No, no, no. I'll go hunt some crocolisks. Why the hell not? It takes me like two seconds. I got what you need. Thanks, pal. Hot market for these skins, huh? <laughs> Unlike some other things. <laughs> Respect Darati was the anonymous contributor to the BBJ's front page. Last I heard, he's inspecting the Venture Co. oil rigs. <laughs> yeah. Glad I could help. This will do. Have a good one. Oh, uh, hello there, stranger. The scoundrel. I had a deal with Artie to market the crystals in the paper. Someone must have cut a bigger deal with him. Artie routinely inspects the venture company's working area on the shore. He always brings in his own guards, but no one is immune to gold in Booty Bay. Take my last bit of gold. Go to the oil rig and bribe the guards to look the other way before you confront Artie. I'll be here. Or I keep the money and I yes, kill the guards Rez. myself. Come on, friend. Oh wait, no, you're more about I'll be gold making. Up in the cliffs overlooking the bay. <laughs> Please hurry. <clears throat> Never mind. You're more about gold making than the bloodshed. I remember now, because you could have eaten Baron as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's quiet. Too quiet. Mm -hmm. You think that's enough to pay me off? Uh kind of hoping Ooh, go away this is triple what Artie paid me you're the boss now is this a bribe <laughs> consider me bribed sure <laughs> I'll take your gold the place is all yours cute Uh, need more bodyguards. Where are you at? H higher bodyguards? Yoo-hoo. Ah, there it is. You think that's enough to pay me off? Thanks. Time to turn you in now. Hmm. I'm making my money back. Mwah. You okay. Oh, Artie. Hey there. Oh, thanks. Lucrative mining for maybe another five or seven years. Artie lowers his quill and looks you up and down. Who are you? You don't look like you're supposed to be here. What? How dare you? My guards! He huffs and looks around, but the place emptier than usual. Oh, I understand. Look, don't hurt me. No amount of gold is worth losing teeth over. <laughs> New pirates in town paid me to devalue the crystals of the Booty Bay Journal. Their captain didn't seem to fancy zeros making all of his profits. Captain's name was Grub Redcut. Now, I do believe their ship is still hanging around in the southern coast. Go on, I have important work to finish. You really don't want to irk the venture company. Uh huh. Cute questline, a lot bigger than I expected as well. Very nice. I also have mail from Vashkarn, the postmaster and Proved Month Club. Hell yeah. Proved Month Club. I need to unsolicit with that one. Yeah, the questline is massive. I like it. Ah, the Venture Coast like the Scarlet Crusade. You know, they never go out of fashion. They never really go away. So what do you want? The pirates? Oh, of course. We know where to go next. Good to see you. The pair will never find me up here, right? <clears throat> Zeros looks around nervously. Noble, thank you. You truly are saving my neck here. By the way, is, uh, is Senego still with you? I didn't mean to offend him earlier. The situation when you both arrived, I'm normally a lot more respectful than that. Especially to the most respectable of the blues. I can't believe he personally came all this way just for I'll me. I'll be here. 
Grub Redcut and his crew are notorious for their love of money. They'll do anything for it. I assume there's treasure to be had on his own ship, but just in case there isn't, there must be gold within the pockets. Will you do me the dirty business of collecting it? I won't question your negotiation tactics, just don't kill them. I'm not trying to start a serious blood feud today. Good to see you! Grub Redcut. Zero spits. Puh. A sore, crusty loser who thinks he's all tough because he's big and buff. He hates that someone like me can make more money than him. Believe it or not, I play the auction house fairly. I'm a saint compared to him. So Grub sold my crystals, eh? And then paid Artie to lie about them so that nobody else would go looking for them? It's a fine plan. Grub must have something valuable on that ship of his. Well, we're gonna take it. Search the ship thoroughly. So long, friend. How old is Zero's? Welp, I think. I was told that he was like a rare to be saved on um, Broken Owls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite young. But he's chosen that visage of an old gnome in order to come across older than he actually is. He uh, made mention of that earlier. May Tentalos devour you, Telenips. I may make Tentalos. This is our ship now. Telenips. This is our ship now. You're not one of Telenips. I go. Oh no, what's happening? This is May Tentalos. Telenips. I go. Telenips, you're not one of us. Mm hmm. Intro. Telenips, I go. This is our ship now. Is it? Is it really? This is our ship now. Intrude, mate, Tentalo, mate, Tentalo, devour you. Uh huh. Intruder, intruder, throw him over, mate, mate, Tentalo, devour you. And now we need a warm brass. Yeah. I'm going to assume it's somewhere down here. Ah, here it is. Oh no, we need the key for that. Oh my god, who said that? You are not one of us. Who said that? Are you here for my treasure? Um This is, this is our ship now! Is he even a lower? These are all just grubby deck hands. I don't need a grubby deck hands. I need Maybe on Grub itself? I mean, targeting Grubby is not going to happen. Throw him overboard. He's on the upper deck on the front of the ship. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh my god, I want to get off this boat so badly. Shut the fuck up. Okay. That's better. <sighs> a bit of peace and quiet. That's right. I don't want to be devoured by anything. Oh, come here. Teledips, I go. Intruder! Throw him over! Teledips, I go. <laughs> I don't want to go to the depths. Citizens of Tentalos. <laughs> oh, we actually got a gold in the, like a proper old one. Cool. Okie dokie, another blue dragon saved. Hell yeah. To the depths I go. Oh. Your time is up, Zeros. Did you think you could just fly away? Don't do it, Baron. I've come Keep to negotiate. Nose clean in my town. You return just in time. Good do you have what I need? You. It's high time that those pirates learn that they can not terrorize anyone they please. So long, friend. Hurry, the Baron wasn't kidding about my skills. I'm a dragon, as you know, and my skills are worth quite a lot. I'll be here. Good to see you. You returned just in time. A minute later, you might have found a skinned dragon. Give him the treasure. 
quickly. I'll be here. I have the payment here. No, not not new sub sounds. For one such as you. Ah, but that's not good enough, is it? You owe me a lot more. Bruisers, give me his scales. You shall leave him intact, Baron. He paid his debt. Ooh. It is now my turn to do business. Ah, run! Like, um, you were dealing with a dragon before, though. So why does... Uh, okay, probably because this dragon does eat you, I guess. Whatever you need. So... What amusing creatures. <laughs> that was quite the entrance. I am old and therefore have lots of tricks, young one. It seems your business is concluded here. Will you return with us? We do need you, Zeros. Uh -huh. I suppose I am now in your debt. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I hope the Isles are as magical as the rumors say. Cute. Very, very, very cute. Come closer. I do hope that's the last that we see of the Baron. Truth be told, I'd expect to see the power in Strangle form. We were lucky to find Zero is still alive. He must have developed quite a positive relationship with the Baron before all this nonsense, or else he would not have been given so much time. Let us return to the archives. Yo, Sukov, good luck raiding, man. Good luck with the raid, have fun. Dragon flight <clears throat> is but a shadow of its former glory. I am rather spent from the mission. Let me Do rest. What you must to save the world, hero. Uh Crystal Song. The blue dragon Lanigosa lent her aid to the mortals during the most recent war against the Burning Legion. However, she failed to respond to the call of the Isles. Has something befallen her? Or she simply chosen not to return? Whatever the reason, Azuragos's globe seems to suggest he was last seen in the Crystal Song forests. How can I help? Okay. Fly true. I have some idea what Lenigosa might be doing in the Crystal Song forest, although I cannot imagine why she's taken upon herself to do it. That forest conceals within it ruins of the Shenderal, a former highborn settlement at the site of one of the mortal race's first clashes with the Blue Dragon Flights. If Lenigosa truly is in Crystal Song, then it may well have something to do with Shenderal. Seek her out and try to convince her. Soon. Crystal Song's arcane corruption makes it difficult to ground a portal, but I should be able to get you close. Best of luck, my friend. Give Lanagosa my regards, and tell her she is dearly missed here. Okie dokie. Nothing this else? This world is full of wonder. Keep safe. Shall we begin? Oh, Zero's Hello. actually here. <laughs> Hello there, stranger. Hello. Thank you for all you have done. Lanigosa helped with the artifact quest with Jotun. Um, the one in uh, Dragonblight, yeah? The, the Keeper thingy. Oh my god, where are we? Oh, we are in Zuldrak. On the edge of Crystal Song Forest. Ooh. Log entry 386. The echo. Log entry 386. The echoes seem docile today. With luck, my work will soon reach its end. So long as... With luck, my work will soon reach its end. So long as... Hold on a moment. You are actually alive, are you not? Uh-huh. Well, that is certainly a refreshing change. I would really like it if they could put, like, beams around these NPCs so it's not, like, blocked by mounts. The floating tome, before you appears to be a collection of research notes, a quill floats nearby as if ready to inscribe new worlds upon a fresh page. Several bookmarks are wedged hastily into the book at various points. Introducing, uh, introduction to be added. Focus on detailing thefts of the crystal focus from the Nexus Vault. Today, the ramifications of the battle between the Chandral and Log the Blue... Entry 380. Today, the ramification of the battle between Shandral and the Blue Dragonflight yet remain, lingering in every grain of arcane-tinged permafrost that still sits within the desecrated ruins of Shandral. Even now, a keening din occupies the ruins as the spirits repeatedly relive their collective demise. This species seeks to accomplish the following. 
First, to establish the cause of this arcane anomaly that binds the spirits to the place of their death. Second, to discern an efficient means by which to undo said anomaly. And finally, to perform the requisite ritual, ensure that the spirits here may finally rest. Initial attempts to counteract the anomaly with basic spell raking methods have failed. Curiously, the anomaly seems resistant to any manner of spell work that I myself caused. It is as if the enchantment holds the memory of those it enchants in high regard and strengthens itself against those beings whose advance it was employed to stop. In other words, I fear that this enchantment, however inadvertently, may specifically ward against the interference of blue dragons. This is both exceedingly ironic and remarkably problematic for my continued research. We'll have to explore other options. I have lost track of the time since I last spoke to another living soul. Based on the progression of the moon through the sky, I believe it's been a rough a, uh, roughly a year since I arrived in Crystal Song Forest and I've made little progress. The shards of the crystal focus that I believe was used to put this enchantment in place lay scattered across the very ground that I walk upon. When I move to gather them though, they flee from my very touch. It's as if they remember Chandral's grudge against the flight. Still, I am not deterred. Blue dragons created the problem and a blue dragon shall see it to its end. I only wish that I had someone to talk to in the meantime. Someone's other than a floating book. Uh, 234. I am tired. The keening groans of the echoes of Chandralal wear upon my mind like a chorus of the damned. They cry out in fear with frightening regularity. The loop repeats over and over. No variation, no relief. I'm at my wit's end. Perhaps this truly is irreversible. Um, right, I'm trying to remember. There's like the picture from the Chronicles, which has Malagos like deep breath across the Crystal Song Forest. I think there was like a war between the blues and whatever was here. Um... But that's about as far as my memory goes. I mistook you for a tormented arcane apparition. Do not give me that look. You will be surprised at how if easy not, mis my work will soon reach its end. So long as hold on a moment. No doubt Calico's to send you. I heard a call to the Isles that we all did, but I cannot leave this place now. Not while the tormented memories of Shandral are still condemned to walk this crystal waste. If you really wish me to return though, then perhaps you could be of some assistance. In attempt to defend their home against the fury of the blue dragon flight, Shandral's mage has condemned the souls of the people to an eternity of crystalline torment. Now their echoes wander aimlessly, reliving their civilization's doom again and again and again for more than 10,000 years. I found that some of the shades yet retain a shred of sentience. Perhaps they could be reasoned with. Convinced to free themselves from the mire of their own ancient fear and pass on at last. Chandral's reckless use of the crystal's focus placed too much stress on the relic, causing it to shatter. Its fragments have been scattered amidst the crystalline permafrost. I can recreate the focus, but it will need you to collect enough of those shards to give me something to go on. You should be able to find them amidst the piles of crystal refuge scattered throughout the area. Take heed, Paladin. Those shards may still hold fragments of the major memories from that faithful day. See you around. Okay. I mean, maybe, or maybe it's because, you know, she has like an introductionary text that she plays out, and people land, and she takes it out. Wretched pawn of dragons, you will die by my hands. All that anger for what, huh? What have you accomplished? What do you mean? We are, we've defended Shandaral. Uh, look around you. Perhaps you're right, for all my rage, I'm so tired. Aw, bye now. Okay, sending them all to the Shadowlands and picking up some of these Crystal Focus Fragments. Even Shattered, the Crystalline Fragment thrums with ancient power. Oh, oh, snap! Our scouts have returned from the Forest Edge. There are dragons on the horizon. They mean to reclaim the Relic by Force then, and there are far too few of us to stand against the Blue Flights. Send words to the Magi. We must use the Relic. It is the only way to stand a chance against the fury of Malagos' brood. Yes, moving on to the Shadowlands is the greatest thing, okay? There they go. Uh, okay, I'm gonna assume every second crystal is gonna give me a memory then. Yeah, okay. You must be mad. We've barely scratched the surface of the folks' capabilities. It was never a goal to make it a weapon. What choice do we have? Malagos' brood flies to Chandral. We know all too well how the blue flight responds to those who would dare expose their precious secrets. 
If we do not act now, then our plans will all have been for naught. The blue dragons cannot be reasoned with. We have to make a stand. We, holy macaroni, are doing the new blue dragon flight edit today or yesterday. It is a new quest line. Caligos has called upon all the blues to come home. Not everybody has answered the call. And so we help them out. Howdy, Halfie. Now, I was sorted, Halfie. I've done um, I've done the Black Dragon Flight conclusion. Bit confused as to why they decided to separate it by two weeks, but you know. Neither here nor there. And now here we are. Blue Dragon Flight, baby. Souls, magical memories, yeah. What was the difference? What's the difference? The dragons are retreating. This power shall be Chandra's salvation. Captain, it's too powerful. We cannot stop it. Stop channeling energy into the focus. At this rate, it will. Hey, it will blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... It's a bit weird, honestly, that they put it behind Sarkarev kill. Log entry 300. At the very least, allow people to kill Sarkarev on LFR. Like, why gatekeep the LFR wing if you're going to put lore behind it? Like, that's the whole reason for LFR. But the heck do I know? All right, then. This crystalline prison is not I easy to escape. I have log entry 300. This crystalline prison is not easy to escape. Still, with luck, our work here will let the spirits that yet linger find some modicum of peace. Malagos' rage fetched Chandralal's desperation. Now our fleet's a failure is frozen in crystal for the world I to think see. I have run out of ideas. If reforging the crystal focus does not work, then I do not know what will. Oh, welcome <laughs> back. Did you find anything? Are you okay? Malagos believed that we alone were capable of stewarding the mere truths of the arcane. His and our failure to consider the potential of mortals led to the tragedy you see I here. Should get back to it. The time is upon us, noble. With your help, most of the restless echoes of Chandra have been quelled. However, some yet remain whose rage and sorrow burns too brightly to be eased by mere words. Using the shards as you recovered, I've managed to recreate a festival of the crystal folks that brought Chandra to ruin. Using it here should bring the anchor spirits to bear and give us an opportunity to grant them a final rest. Be on guard. I do not know how their long-held sorrows will manifest. See you around. After all these years, these pieces you've brought me should finally be enough. I have enchanted this new crystal focus with a beacon spell. Wow. Use it near a wellspring of arcane energy and the remaining restless spirits will flock to it. The great crystal tree nearby should do nicely. Shatter the crystal once the spirits have gathered within it. And the enchantment that binds them to these ruins should at last be broken. Okie dokie. Oh wow, you're on chapter 2 already, Vox. Get it done. Get it done. I was kind of planning to drop back into dungeon... I'm um, oh, sorry, in um, Darkest Dungeon 2. But uh, Zelda is not ready, with, not done with me yet. Uh, it's actually even post game. It's still so much fun to play through. But sure, I'll send you all the aid I can. Yeah, all the aid I can muster. Mhm. Mm not as hostage as it did though. It's not full time for a week, but definitely a couple of hours at the uh, end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years of torment, all for naught. Alright. Spears of Chandral put to rest. I must admit, this is quite out there when it comes to Blue Dragon lore. Um... As the quest suggests, I think there was like a war with the blue dragonfly and they just blew the entire forest up. I think. At last, the magic that was binding these tormented memories to these ruins has been broken. It will be some time before the lesser echoes fully dissipate. Still, with the source finally banished and the relics fragments removed, the fragments of the memory that remain trapped here will finally be relieved of their torments. It has been so many years since Chandral has known true silence. With luck, our actions today will allow the echoes of the cursed place to fade. You are due back to the Isles, no doubt. And I think it's high time that I fly there as well. 
With the focusing crystal shattered, the echoes will eventually fade. And these ruins will be silent. At last, the spirits of Shandaral will be permitted a well-deserved rest. It has been many years since I have seen other living, breathing people, let alone members of my kind. I am... Nervous. Relatable. Log entry 387, epilogue. The echoes of Shandaral have ended their watch. It is time for me to return home. Aww. The aftermath of the conflict in Shandaral has hung over our flight like a pall for so many years. To think that Lanigosa has been toiling all this time to lay those spirits to rest. Thank you for lending her your aid. You've once again shown yourself a true ally to my people. Good luck. I appreciate your aid so far. Where would you like to look next? Together, we can achieve anything. Uh, well, I've been told to keep Jade for as long, so we're gonna go to Winter Spring. <sighs> Holly, matron protectorate, presides over Winter Spring. Even after defeating the power hungry mage Umbrons, she continues to find the dispel danger in her homeland. As the last living consort of Melago, she tirelessly upholds his legacy as a guardian of magic. Her return will greatly strengthen the Blue Dragonflights. Alrighty. It seems the mortal races have flourished. I am very curious about Holly. She is one of the last living consorts of Malagos, and I'm grateful for her going to Malagos in this time of need. I will admit, I've spent some time spying on her. She's a blue dragon through and through, studious, proud, and one of the more careful ones around magic. I do feel most suited to be the one to visit her uh, about the call to the elves. Take my portal when you're ready. I shall meet you there. We will meet again. I'm certain. Reminds me of the um, blue dragon sinew that we used for the classic hunter bow. It was also winter spring. I know just what to do with you. How oh, do you, Cinderagosa? Oh my! This area is rich with the scent of magic. Halle must be close. Really? There must be something useful in this dratted book. Why title yourself Secrets of Aberrations if all you present is common knowledge? Ugh! Ugh. I know, right? Greetings. Uh, did you need something? Be careful out there. Syndragosa. It, it can't be. Uh, are you an illusion? Indeed. I am but a simulacrum. There you go, Holy. I am here to ask about your return to the Dragon Isles. Well, I, I do intend to answer the call. However, as you can see, I have much unfinished business here in Winter Spring. A pleasure. Um, so basically what happened, we went to the Dragon Isles, and in the Azure Span we found, like, um, ancient blue dragon stuff. Basically a computer. Um, she's like a cookie of Sindragosa before the whole War of the Ancients and Elfarian thing. Um, which allows us to hang out with Sindragosa of the past, before she started yelling about her petty magics. I appreciate your aid. It is certainly bizarre to see Sindragosa real in all but the flesh. Look, I appreciate that you both come all this way for me. The elves sound delightful, but I've dedicated many years to cleaning up Winterspring. I am not about to leave a job unfinished. Magic is abound and unfortunately not all good. If you would like to help, the Hidden Grove is next on my list. Therein lie ruins of the totems that still emanate with some sort of magic. We collect pieces of them. It seems you already know who I am, though we have never met. Since my awakening, I have spent much time learning the current state of affairs in regards to my flight. Many paths led to Winterspring. Change has befallen this area several times over, yet you remain its constant. This was once a home for many blue dragons, including myself. I would like to believe it still can be, after my work is finished here. Within every beast lies a monster. Okay, 
These are some weird ass totems. Wait, how did that not count? Embrace your within every beast lies them. Within every beast lies defiler. With within every beast embrace. Within every Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying to remember if it was if it's just been a really, really long time since I did quests with a lot of people on the realm, like at night. Or if this is just less phased than they normally do. And that one, I suppose, is harmless enough. Hacked pieces of petrified wood, iron, Safe and fur. Travels, my dear. Thank you for your input. Today is day 41 without finding a harmful artifact. I'm further delighted to report that while you're away, a handful more proved harmless. Perhaps my hunt in winter spring is almost concluded. Come to think of it, you have some magical ability, don't you? Uh, or enough bravery to help me test some more artifacts. Do not be nervous. None of them will permanently hurt you. Artifacts with that kind of dangerous power were taken care of in my first year here. Be careful. May I assist you, Halle? Halle. Oh! No, thank you. I have a specific way of doing things. You don't need to trouble yourself. A rather unoriginal and amateur curse. Do not worry, you will defrost shortly. Okay. Uh, bottled spirits. Hmm. I suspect we would need the right boot to complete the set. Oh well. Those souls are beyond my help now, but at least they are free. Yes, what can I do for you? Safe travels, my dear. While you were working, I was inspecting the totemic ruins that you retrieved. There has always been something odd about the Hidden Grove. It used to be occupied by a robust population of harmless white hares. Now there's only mad and old kin and strange totems. I put the piece together. It is no masterpiece, but hopefully we can glean a stronger magic effect from the whole. Maybe it will even make us sprout some feathers and fur. You would think, as a blue dragon, I would enjoy the cold, but, uh, no. Be careful out there. Let us test it over there where there is more space. Why not? I am feeling quite optimistic after today's results so far. Halle, I suggest taking greater care with this particular... Not to fret, Sendragosa. It seems that there remains mostly harmless curses and hexes, weakened from time. I may join you in the aisle sooner than I thought. Indeed. Gee, Willikers. I wonder I what's... Observe. I wonder what's gonna happen. Greetings. Uh, did you need something? Thank you for your input. <laughs> what? Oh, what did I expect? Roar. Come on, team, we can take her. All of us together, we can do it. Enough. No. Oh. Nearly got you though. What is it? Of course, why? what did I expect? Oh why? Can one of these cursed artifacts simply not be cursed for once in my life? Halle, wait. Uh, okay. What flight do you hail from? Speak to me when you're ready, because I have an idea. So much yet to be done. Uh. There is one place of great warmth in winter spring. Follow the path west, and you will find some delightful streaming, hot, steaming hot springs. Even meet us there. Fair skies and... It is never-ending. Irresponsible magic remains abundant in every nook and cranny, and I have only been in winter spring. You are doing an aspect's breadth of work all on your own. I admire your tenacity. I do not know why I keep getting my hopes up. This place will never be fully cleansed. You said... 
How many days has it been since the last bad artifact? Forty? Forty-one! I will not rest until it has been one hundred. I am not even halfway there. My dear child, breathe. Let us walk away from this for a moment. I know the perfect place. It's kind of cute. Can you imagine a world in which Cinderagosa never died? That the blue dragonflies are just, you know, chill, cool flights, keeping magic under control and all that. What a world, man. We get a glimpse now. It's kind of cool. Cinderagosa at the pass was very muddily. Still, no Ketgar. Waiting on my boy Ketgar. Oh, you want to get steamy with Cinderagosa, huh? You want to be yelled at? How your pathetic magics betray you? I mean, Why what am I here? saying? I need to get back to work. Of course you would. Greetings, young one. Uh, move into the water. Whee! Lounging him. Oh, it was fine. Just for a moment, then. <laughs> this is nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. I know just what to do with you. Now let us hope we can broach the subjects of the Isles again. I'm glad to see them relaxed. She deserves Farewell, it. Farewell then, Pale. Winter spring is better because of you. Now, your skills are wanted elsewhere. Return to the Azure Archives with us for at least a small amount of time. I promise there are several matters of importance to interest you. I admit, I have been in isolation for some time. Your offer is tempting. Change would be nice. Your visit has reminded me that there is an entire world out there. Your mission here is quite respectable. I understand the need to make your home a home once more. Thank you. I will return with you, but know that I will need to decide whether to stay or not, and for how long. But first, a few more minutes in <laughs> this water. It is quite nice. Come on, Cinderagosa, jump in. No? No, they didn't want to make an echo of your dragon form? Yeah, okay. Understandably so. What flight do you hail from? We shall find Halle Hot Springs here too. Do not let the magic overwhelm you. We've only one more blue dragon to locate. Let's finish this, Fair shall skies we? Skies and strong winds. Uh -uh. Daughter of Melagos and Saragosa, Kirigosa survived the turbulent Nexus War that ripped away her life and her family. Afterwards, Kirigosa sought a permanent summer in Stranglethorn, finding warmth but not quite peace. She moved on to the Dawn's Blossom, a small village nestled in a jade forest. The Blue Dragonflight would welcome her return. Hell yeah. Um, really nice, by the way, that this is going to be your first introduction into the game. I'm very curious about a model. I stand with you. All will be well. Kirigosa wrote me after leaving Stranglethorn some years ago. She said that it was beautiful and balmy, but not very quiet. I presume and hope that she has found peace in Pandaria. If I'm honest with myself, I should not be surprised that she hasn't answered the Isle's call. Yet, we must do our duty and seek her out. If I am doubly honest with myself, I would have any excuse to see it again. Let us take a break from these chilly winds and visit the Jade Forest. Fly true. And is it confusing, Babushka, yeah? I mean, just enjoy the ride, right? <laughs> Hear the bird calls. That's right, Kalik. Hear the bird calls. Anshkunana kafulu kafun yaksharan and is off. Praise him, Kalik. Praise him, buddy. There's nothing to see here. There's nothing to see here. I don't worship the old gods. Nana. 
Nazov will forevermore have a peek into my life. Alrighty. Kirigosa. Are you having fun? What you doing? I have it. <gasps> Get the fuck out of the way. I want to see the model. Ksh. Ga weg met your clear amounts. It's good to meet you. Kelagos? Please. Oh, Kalik. Oh, it's good to see you. It's been too long. Hello, and welcome to you, too. I am Kirigosa. This is my friend. Oh, I think I know of you. News of your exploits have reached even this humble village. We are honored to have you. I suspect you must have important business here. Somewhat, yes. Have you heard the call of the Isles? The blue flight awaits. Yes, I have heard. Ah, uh, Champion. While we catch up, why don't you take a stroll around the village? There's much to do and see. Or I quickly pop into Storm and turn on war modes, because apparently that uh, makes people leave. Uh, look at her. Hey, we can see a model. Woo, look at her. Very cool. Oh, hello. Hello. Though the village is small, we take great pride in our crafts and cherish our relationship with each other. Uh, you missed everything, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Safe travels to you. The Villa of Carp bring fortune and peace. Their well-being reflects the health of the village. The carp thrive on a special food made from worm meal and vegetable paste. It's not as unpleasant as it sounds, especially after we finish dehydrating it into neat little blocks. Just toss it gently into the water, and their pond also requires cleaning, so please skim any debris that you find. Stop by any time. Please, take care. I've been cultivating a new flower in this land. It's quite versatile, but the villagers and I are still refining its various uses. I just harvested my latest batch. Will you help me deliver them? Safe, you certainly took your time to pay me a visit. My duties as Aspect have gotten more time-consuming as of late. I'm sorry, Kiri. I should have come sooner. So, this is where you've chosen to settle. Yes, I have a daily routine. I know all the villagers. I even have my own house. A house? I... I see. Kiragosa has player housing. Kiragosa has housing. This is some bull. Ah, uh, a new visitor. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, a new visitor. It's good to meet you. Oh, hello. It's good to meet you. Ah, a new visitor. It's good to meet you. Stop by any time. I want a house too in Pandaria. Hey. We can do business. These flowers are from Kiragosa. These are prettier than I could have imagined. Look at the sheen of their velvety petals, as if they shimmer with magic. Kiragosa's blue magic beautifly... Beautifies our village. Beautifies even. Ah. For these, I have been looking for a new garnish for my noodle dishes. I think I will keep a few in a vase at home as well. Keep the peace. My goods are crafted with great care. Speaking of high notes, Kiragosa's flowers over yonder are the boon to my craft. When crushed with other ingredients, they increase the potency of the final potion. Not to mention how pretty have they I are. See. We have a house and a farm plot in Panda Lands. Um... Yeah, but I can't put furniture in it. Speak up. Uh, look at the blue. Now that's the color of brood that Pandar from all ends of the land will be talking about. White tiger. Yeah, but it's kind of great, Charlie. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that farm. I mean, it's phased out, so no creatures can get in or out. Ha <laughs> ha. Um. Kirigosa, is that you? Oh, you're her friend. She said that she was going to visit me today. Did you bring me flowers? Old man Mistai holds the flowers close and heals deeply. Pure contentment washes over his face. I can't see much anymore, so I try to indulge my remaining senses the best I can. And Kirigosa has cultivated something very special. Welcome to our humble home. Thank you. 
Although, I'm not exactly sh I'm not exactly sure that you're supposed to go swimming with the carps when you start cleaning the water, but... I guess it's effective. Aren't you supposed to give me, like, I don't know, cleaning that? No? Okay. Nice to be back in Pandaria, though. That's for sure. It's like cleaning the shark tank. Do you get a net for that, too? Shark tank? You start swimming with your sharks when you need to clean the shark tank? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't own a shark tank, so I'll have to take your word from it. That's how you clear the pools with waterlink boots and you walk in and out of the water. Well, there you go. At the zoo? That's how you clean shark tanks? At the zoo you start swimming in them? That's so cool. How can I help? Uh please take all care. done. Thank you. The carp are so pretty, aren't they? Their scales shimmer almost like dragons. Safe travels to you. By the way, if you like the flowers, I would love to give you a bunch from my next harvest. Oh my god, you're so sweet, Kitagosa. Stop by any time. Honest work for an honest day. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Why don't we have some tea and conversation at my home, huh? Just tell me when you're ready. Please, take care. Uh, okay. Wow! Hello. Leaving me behind? Well, I suppose I am a dragon after all. Look around you. Can you see why I fell in love with Pandaria? Yeah. It's beautiful. Better than frost and snow. <laughs> Keep up, Calicos. Let the warm winds take you. <laughs> No. That boy still has it, doesn't he? Where are we going? My home. My home. Oh. Hey, Lick. We're being invited into our home, buddy. You ready for this? It has a bed. Safe travels to you. And it has a nightmare totem, and an owl totem, and a tarn totem, and a one piece totem. Um, Kitagosa, why do you have so many totems in your house? And a broomstick. Are you a witch? Are you actually a witch? Is that what's happening? Is that why? Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> ah, a new visitor. Here we are. Stop by any time. Well met, friend. How strange and wonderful it is to be in Kiri's own home. That being said, I can't help but notice it is an absolute mess in here. That is very rude, Kalik. She spends all this time helping with the villagers. I have a feeling that she doesn't reserve time for herself. Typical Kiri. Would you mind tidying this place up a bit? Um, yes, Caligos. Yes, I do. First of all, if you're invited into somebody's home, it is extremely rude to be like, oh, the place looks like shit, though. Second of all, you're the one who has a problem with it being messy, and you're like, hey, Noble, can you get to work? I'm like, no. No, Calic. The fuck? I'm not your maid. You clean it up. Come back. Caligos, your return stirs my heart and my memories. The call of the Isles is strong, believe me. If it is true what you say, that the Blues are united once more, that is more than I could have 
ever hoped for. It's true. At the end of the day, you are a blue dragon, Kiri. You belong with us. Wait, you want to bring her back in? This place is so unlike home, and yet I have never felt so at home in such a long time. Calyx, I've she's so happy. My family here. If I had a choice, I would never leave them. Why would you, Kiri? Why? I apologize. You do have a choice. That's better. I shouldn't push you. Ye. Why don't we give you some space to think it over? Oh, thank you for understanding. If you would like some respite, I recommend the Drunken Hosen in town. Oh, uh, well, there we go. Yeah, don't mind me. I'll just clean up the mess here, yeah? Yeah, don't mind me. Um, but she is so happy here. Why, why would you even, I mean, I get it. You want to be like all important to be like, oh, I'm the aspect. But do you literally need every single dragon of the blue dragon flight? Could you not let her be happy here? Last time she was part of the blue dragon flight, she was nearly hooked up to a five headed dragon monster, which I'm pretty sure we're going to be fighting at some point. Are you sure about this, Kalik? There's magic in everything. I will need some time to think and make my decision. Just say no. Please, Just... stay a while and enjoy the view. Caligos is I quiet. I will find you both shortly. A wistful look on his face. I would call upon Nosdormu to help us pass the time, but he would tell me that I should be able to handle this. So, the Drunken Hosen, if Kiri recommends it, let us Good go. The Drunken Hosen? Well, sounds excellent. Meet you there. Okay. Kalik wants to reunite his family and make it better. Yeah, but last time he spoke with Kiri, it was like, go find your own destiny. And Kiri was like, cool, I'm going to party in Stranglethorn. And then she was like, cool, I'm going to party in Pandaria. She has a whole life here, a family, a routine, a house. She is happy here. Like the other ones. Okay, there was a, there was a gnome that was in debt. Then there was the one dealing with messes at Fenimore. There was the one dealing with messes in Winterspring. The one dealing with the Crystal Forest. She's so happy. Why do we want to pull her Over out of Pandaria? Here, let her, let her stay happy here. Uh. Um. It's good to see you again. I'm happy for Kiri. She deserves this and so much more. Good, let's go. She spent her entire life dedicated to the Blue Dragon Flight. Even after loss, after loss, after events I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. Oh, look at that. Nothing more can be taken from her. Yeah. We will try to give her the world in the Isles. Oh. Cheers, friend. May the blue dragons thrive. I literally thought it was going to come to the conclusion like we can't give her the life that she deserves. We're just going to be at peace. But okay, he believes that we can give her a better life at the Isles. Okay. Fly true. Okay. All right. This world is full of wonder. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Kiri's here. I wonder if she's made a decision. Please ask for her thoughts. Keep safe. And Kiriko, so what you going to do? Tell him no. It's okay, you can say no. Oh, hello. I cannot express how happy I am today after spending time with you both, but about the matter that you've come for. Smile sadly. Will you return to the Dragon House with us? Please, take care. This is difficult for me to say. I cannot return to the Isles. Good. Not now. Not for a while. It is just this place. These people. I I've found... For the first time in a long time, I have agency in my own life. You know, you'd love these folk called the Tuscar. I learned a valuable lesson from them recently. Wherever we may be, wherever we may go, family will always be family. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here, Kalik. I stand with you. 
I wish the outcome was different, but if Kiri is truly happy here, then I couldn't possibly ask for anything more. Oh, this is so great. Let's go. <sighs> Thank you. Oh! Oh my god, that hugging technology, ain't it? And strong. That hug. Can I get a hug too? It's good to meet you. Ah, uh, that doesn't work for me. Okay. Well, bye, Kiragosa. It's nice meeting you. It's good to see you again. Let's get back to work. Together, we can achieve anything. Thanks to you, all of the blue dragons are accounted for. We can get back to caring for Azeroth's magic and make sure the power isn't abused. I believe a speech is in order now. I would be honored if you would stay for it. We can head to the Nexus afterwards to see what the Zudikos discovered about Sindragosa and Melago's arcane memories. All will be well. It is good to see all of you here. I once believed that our flight was better off in pieces. Each dragon pursuing their own interests. I was wrong. The blue dragons work best when we are a family. When we are united. Together, we- Caligos, I need aid at the Veiled Ossuary. The memories of Sindragosa and Maligos are destroying this place. I see. Friends, I'm sorry to ask you this so suddenly, but it seems we have need of your aid already. Okay. There's magic in everything. Fair skies and strong winds. Oh, Kirigos has actually mailed us, yeah? Come back soon. Alright. Next in line, please. Enclosed for Kalik. Hello, noble. I've been thinking about your last visits. I thought you might know where Kaligos is at, so give you your friendship with him. He's difficult to locate nowadays. You, on the other hand, why? Any messenger out there knows you with name by now. Next time we meet, I would like to hear more about your worldly adventures. Whenever you feel the time is right, could you please give this letter to Kalikos? I hope to see you both soon again. Kirigosa. See you next time! Dearest Kalik, it was never ending getting to know grief. It was deeper than the oceans of Azeroth, more twisted than the sands of time, darker than the void. Stranglethorn was a welcome distraction. Here, however, rekindled a hope I thought lost. If grief decides to visit Dawn's Blossom, I will meet it with my life. Someday, let's fly over Azeroth again. Looks like I'm not the only one who enjoys slaying mortals. <laughs> One of you should teach this killer a lesson. <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> that ruined it so hard. Anyways, I was about to say, uh, Blizzard, I don't know which one of your teams works on what, but whoever works on that dialogue right there, um, can we put him at the top of the chain? Like, can they, can they work on a lot more of the dialogue? Because that was fucking fantastic. As well as, like, this whole Blue Dragonfly storyline in general. Um, this, this is great. Like, some of the chat mentioned it is some of the best stuff they've put out for a while now. I would agree. Like, this is, this is really, really nice. This is, again, it reminds me a lot of the Orc Heritage Armor Quest line. Where all the things that the past has come together. Um, phenomenally done. Very nice. I'm glad you've come. I was hoping that we would find a way to dispel these strange arcane memories for what remains of Melagos and Dragosa. It appears that they've grown more out of control than I expected. Please, accompany somebody gather blue dragons to the veiled ossuary and help Azuragos. Sindragos and I will remain here and investigate what to do about the situation. Keep, I'll get you a portal to Azuragos's location in the veiled ossuary. Do what you can to aid him and uncover the source of this disturbance. I will stay here to monitor the situation with the others. ...and speak to Senegos on a matter concerning his brood. It should only be a moment of your time, Caligos. Stellagosa, Emagosa, you will want to be here as well. Of course, Grandfather. Whatever you need. Let's investigate the Arcane Disturbance Ricochet. Thank you very much for the 66. 
I uh, hope there's not going to be instant RP after the bubble. You're all here. I need as many of you as possible to drain the arcane coming out of this tomb. Hi, Azura goes. Well, if it isn't... You. This must be the teamwork that we're talking about. Their lingering essences are screaming for rest. We need to find a way to My, give it to them. Look at the time. Um, Melagos and Cinderagos' essences have created this massive arcane disruption. Their memories are running around the veiled ossuary, trying to drain the arcana out of the graves. Our combined efforts are merely keeping the energies at bay. We need the memories in the nearby area disrupted. Once they are dispelled, we should be able to remove this barrier and reach the essences inside. Going so soon. Pity. Uh, three incredibly powerful memories have formed throughout the Veiled Ossuary. Soon, their energy will be so vast they will be able to create their own arcane constructs, thus overwhelming this place. Take them down so we can weaken the barrier and reach Melagos and Cindragos' essence. Do take care out there. Some num-nums. I had some cheese. My body was calling for substance. I still need to make sandwiches as well, but I'll get those later. Memory of a loyalist. Ah, cool. Uh, memory of a sister, of a master, of a betrayer. A master? Oh, Lich King, of course. Be free, little spirit. These strange creatures are trying to release something. Uh-huh. They're gathering arcane energy. Ooh. Well. I did what I had to, brother. You gave me no alternative. Oh, you can summon an adventurer. Oh, damn it. You should have summoned an adventurer. Do it. Isn't that cute? She could do a backstab. Isn't that cute? Get it? Because he feel betrayed by her? Would have been great if that um, adventurer was actually me. But that's okay. Uh, and so ends the Nexus War. Yeah. So that was Alex Stronza, Nexus War, Rolf of the Lich King. Wow! There is so much going on. Okay. These gardens are properly overrun. Uh, are you in here? Oh, okay, that's sick. Creation of the Dragon Soul. That terrible glow. Must it be? Cindragosa, you long suspected my motivations. You were too weak to stand against me. Cone of destruction. They bow me here. They're trying to use my energy to release something. This is actually... Um, this is Cataclysm Deathwing. This is Deathwing with uh, plating going on already. Huh. Reveal the Dragon Soul. With the Dragon Soul, I shall make an example of you foolish blue dragons. <laughs> and then he murdered them all. That's the Deathwing we never saw in Keta. Isn't that the one from um, the, the, the day Deathwing came and punched a dragon and all that? Wasn't that his uh, human model? With the metal jaw. I sense your anger, your first of vengeance. Rise, Cindragosa, and obey me. That's the one you punch. Mm -hmm. No, 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 we've seen his uh, human form a couple of times during Kata. It just looks different than the human form we see in uh, Dragonflight, because in Dragonflight he doesn't have the metal plate yet. Huh. Cute. 
You are bound to my will. Oh, Arphus. You poor thing. All right. We need to clean out more of this here garden. I'll murder it all. I thought he couldn't use his visage because of the using of the dragon soul. I don't know who told you that, but they're full of shit. Okay. Job done. Nah, he couldn't, um, like the Dragon Soul, the powers were overwhelming, so like his corruption started to flow out during the War of the Ancients. And then, um, the other aspects put like magic upon it, which, uh, prevented other dragons from using it. Um, in which he had to use the orcs to use the Dragon Soul, but the Visage thing, nah, nah, nah. He used several, um, like there was also the Visage of Dalin. Oh god, Blackmore. No, um, um, Onyxia was... Oh, Jesus. Sorry, it's late and my brain is a little bit fried. Prestor. That's the name. Prestor. He used Dalin Prestor as a disguise to infiltrate the court of Lordaeron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sliver Drake Funky is go through the storyline of the cave and you will eventually get it. Ah, greetings and whatnot. My, look at the time. The chaos is weakening. Uh, what so memories did soon. you see? Our main priority Kill. is recovering Malagos Syndragosa. Something has gone very wrong with laying them to rest. There are a few theories that I have regarding their current state. We can speak about it as we enter. Dalin was Jaina's father. Dalin... Davil, sorry. Davil Prestor, you are correct. Dalin Proudmoor. Jaina's dad, Davil Prestor, the male form. Um, Katrana, Prestor, Onyxia, and then Lord Nelfarian. What the fuck? Nelfarian used another one as well. Although he might not have been a Prestor. Yeah. My, okay. look at the time. There we go. Sintracosa and Maligo should be at rest. Yet their anger is growing larger by the moment. Maybe they want things settled. Didn't they both die very violently? Like the spirits of Crystal Song Forest, Syndragosa and Malagos are stranded in their final moments of death. And now, they are reliving those final moments of their lives in an endless loop. Perhaps all of this chaos was their only way of getting our attention. Wildly lashing out, hoping someone would hear them. Well, we certainly hear them. And we are going to help. Champion, recover their essences. We are taking them back to the Azure Archives. No, Forever, forever trapped to relive their final moments. That's some, that's some hell right there, man. You hear screams of agony and rage from this small essence. The last remnants of Sindragosa are within. Crying out for her torments to be quelled. Your screams of agony and rage on this small essence. Melagos, the former aspect of magic, still remains trapped in his fury. Let's see if we can help him. Uh, hello? Do take care out there. Well, there we go. it isn't you. Yes, it's me. It seems the blue dragon still cannot leave behind Going our legacy. So soon. To think a Tissy. merciful gesture could turn like this. I suppose we all underestimate the rage still within Sindragos and Malagos. Look at the time. 
I can hear the pained cries of rage and agony from their essences. I suspect this was triggered after attempting to put them to rest. They were dormant for the time, but the combined rage of both Melagos and Sinidagos are merged together to create this phenomenon. Quickly, we must make for the Azure Archives and inform Kelagos and Sindragosa. Together, we may be able to finally give them the peace that they deserve. Dude, quickly, everyone. Perhaps Kelagos and Sindragosa know what must be done next. What's up with Surigosa sticking to dragon form? Is there, is there like a story behind that? That they're like, nah, 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 I'm just gonna go everywhere without magic? Or, you know, other portals? Hmm. He did not like Crystal Song Forest, Jerk. What? Huh? Maybe she likes it. Hmm. Thank you, Azuragos and everyone. I believe we may have an answer to this. Indeed. How strange to see what remains of my essence in life. I can hear her cries calling out to me. You are a fascinating one. What you gonna do? I'm overjoyed to see you. I'm glad you recover the essences of Cinderagos and Melagos. I never imagined trying to place their spirits to rest would lead to this. Could I have a plan of how to address this matter, though it is a rather dangerous one. Melagos and myself both suffered horrible, violent ends. The remains of our essence has been trapped in an endless loop. They must be reformed and broken out of that loop, and to do so would require a tremendous amount of concentrated power. We will have to utilize every amount of arcane energy within the archives, along with all of the assembled blue dragons. It is the only chance that we have to reform these spirits, and to put an end to their suffering. Do not let the magic overwhelm you. You can try swapping between war mode, uh, Babushka. Sometimes that uh, phases you, fixes it, it for you. It seems the mortal races have flourished. How can I help? Okay, the last conflict. Give the word and I will channel the energy that we've gathered to release Cindergosa and Melagos. We'll be in for a fight. I'll hold off one of them while you handle the other. Blue dragons, focus your energies now with mine. We must break Cindergosa and Melagos free of this curse. Malagos! You! <laughs> abandon me! You and your mortal kind! You'll all pay for this! The mortals are the ones who shall pay for daring to usurp the power of the Blue Dragons! I'll handle Malagos. You take Syndragosa. You have the full might of the Azure Archives behind you, champion. Huh. Neo. I get to kill Syndragosa again? Alright. Oh, that does not stop devastation. Oh, okay. Beast is what became of me? Twisted by darkness and anger? Yup. The pain! The pain! All oh, must suffer as I did! There must be something left of me in there. It hurts so much! Please, make it stop. Cool. She's holding herself back? I cannot contain it. Please, 
free me from this eternal torment! Wow. Well, Sindragosa, time to go, I suppose. I should have stopped Neltharion when I first suspected his motives. I am so sorry it has come to this. I... I should have stopped him. The fight is over, Malagos. Come to your senses and be free. Never. I cannot give up. Well met, friend. Malagos and Sindragos have been soothed. It is time that we properly send them to the beyond. All will be well. Malagos. Oh, wow. Is it truly you? My treasure. What happened? I believe I hold the answer to that. Oh, I see. My dear, dear Caligos. Aspect of the blue dragon flight. You what? I remember you. <laughs> I am so sorry, Caligos. My burden should not be yours to bear. You did not leave a burden. You left a brilliant legacy. One I and our flight will carry onward. It seems they are in good hands. Together. Always. No. You have come so far, my child. My work is done. For now. Thank you, Caligos. Lead them well. Thank you, my lady. For everything. No. They're so cute. You're all crying. You're cutting onions now. Oh man, that is heckin' cute. All right. Professor Intenosa. Senegos, Obi, Surigosa, Nerigosa, Stelagosa, Emigosa. All right. I am the oldest of my kind. I've been waiting for this moment for quite a long time. The Blue Dragons are together again. Sindragosa and Malagos' legacy have been put to the rest, and my children's children can once again experience the beauty of the Dragon Isles. It is time for me to rest. There are many dragons waiting for me, and many who I have sorely missed every day on this long life of mine. Melagos and Sindragosa's spirits can finally rest. Thank you once more for all of your aid. There's one last thing that must be done. Keep safe. I believe it, it brightens my heart to see everybody reunited, and Melagos and Sindragosa are at peace at long last. It is time that I give you all one last gift, something the blue dragons have not seen in quite some time. The peaceful passing of one of my own it is my time, Noble. I should have flown beyond some time ago, but I could not leave with my kin still in disarray. Would you do an, an old dragony honor of seeing me off on one last adventure? Senegos, say it ain't so. Are you gonna move on now? May the 
wisdom of the titans guide you. <laughs> we often thank you so much for the three months. I've been waiting for this moment for quite a long time. It's my time to rest. Oh, sorry. The blue rags are together again. Cinder goes to Melagos' legacy, but put the rest of my children's children can once again experience it. It is time for me to rest. There are many dragons waiting for me, and many are sorely missed every day of this long life of mine. You don't have to go, Senegos. I can figure out a way to save you. I'm sure you could find some ancient artifacts that would grant me another thousand years or reverse my age. I know, because I have found several. How do you think I've lasted this long? I made a promise to my daughter Stelagosa's mother when she was killed. I told her I would look after Stelagosa and the others until our flight was renewed. There are many things that I've done to artificially extend my life. I should have passed some time ago, but I could not leave my brood alone. There's nothing in that I need to be saved from, Noble. It is simply my time, and it has been my while. Well, yeah, it has been my time for a while now. I finally get the rest, and I accept it. Goodbye, Senegos. Grandfather? Ah, no tears, my dear. A life as full as mine should be celebrated, not mourned. It is up to you to lead the Azure Wing now. You oh, cannot go. I am not ready. <laughs> we rarely are. My dear Starlight, carry my lessons close to your heart, and I will never be far from you. That was beautiful. How can I help? Senegos, <clears throat> what a tremendous gift he's given to us all. Thank you. I don't know if I could have united the Blue Dragons without you. And for that, I will be forever grateful. It is time for me to lead everyone forward. You will get the appearance of the Azure Renewal Finery Sets. Together, it, it is hard to believe he's really gone. What do we do now? We strengthen the bonds of our flight that remain by celebrating those who came before. Senegos, Centrogosa, Malagos, all those we've lost. You are all welcome to stay in the archives for as long as you need. This is our new home. I suppose it is a bit bigger than the Nexus. The vaults seem to have more knowledge that I haven't recorded yet. I can help you look after the Nexus if you want to start to come here. <laughs> Me too! I bet your old Malagos had a few ideas on how to play the market back in his day. Let us just... Make sure someone always accompanies Zeros to the Nexus. As Juragos, I shall join you in studying the vaults. I have a few things I am curious about. I suppose company in my studies would be a change of pace. I will be here whenever any of you have need of me. Aww. You know what I like most about this quest? Well met, friend. That Kitty Gosa actually just decided to, to enjoy her peaceful life. That's probably my favorite part. They actually just did not decide to join this big adventure. It was like, you know what? I'm quite happy in Pandaria. I'm just going to stay here. And Kaelic was like, all right, cool. You stay here. I understand. 
You stay here. Very cute. Fly true. Check my mail. Uh, oh god, does Molly still work? I don't know. Nope. Uh, ah, there's a mailbox right here. Ha ha. Stelagosa, a momento. Add to your toy box. Some of the ancient blue dragon's wisdom passed down to you in a form that he is surely found amusing. Hold a yes or no question in your heart and call upon it. Wait, where did it just... What? Where did it just go? Hi! Hi! Oh! Huh? <laughs> what? My friends, I want to thank you for helping ensure the Grandfather's final days were full of adventure. It meant as much to me as it did to him. Grandfather left behind some trinkets. Apparently, I had intended to give it to you several years ago as a token for your help in Azuna, but never had the opportunity to do so. You should know that he spoke of you often, fondly, and held you in high regard. I know he would appreciate this making his way to you at last. It is, well, it's certainly his sense of humor. Grandfather loved to bring joy to others and loved to laugh. Hopefully this will help you do the same. Okay, cool. Uh, and that's from a key knife message. All right. What's the point of using a sword if you're literal aspect of magic? I mean, I would like for them to use his special magic sword that he used in the books. That was kind of be cool. Um, but at the same time, I mean, how many swords have we as mages not used? Felomalorn, for example, or whatever. To amplify our magics. Just because he's a spell weaver doesn't mean he can't amplify his, his, his stuff. The Azure Regalia. So I'm going to assume that it looks similar to um, what they gave us with the Black Track of Flights. Come, shop, browse. Smell. Yeah, 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 okay. And considering um, that we now have the blue one and the black one. I'm going to assume that we still need the green, bronze, and red. Oh, and I was well, friend of the Grammels. Pondering if the green was already done or not, but nah, nah, nah. Definitely still seems to be a thing. Uh, that's an appearance for Drake. Um, and then here's the Inherited Wisdom of Senegos. Which is called Inherited Wisdom of Senegos. Um, hold a yes or no question in your heart and call upon it. A yes or no question in my heart. All right. Um, ask it a question. Ask it a question. Okay. Will paladins ever truly get on top again? Instead of being mid-tier? No, no, no. Better one. Better one. Will warlocks be nerfed into the ground as they deserve? I have heard worse ideas. <laughs> Go on ahead. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Blizzard, you heard it here first. Just saying, if you're looking for good advice on game development, let's go. So this is the additional... Um, if you've done Teragosa's Rest. Um, and did I notice their visage? I probably did not. What did I miss, Ostro? Um... But, uh, okay, so if you don't like the Cataclysm Legendary Questline, you get a little bit of additional stuff when it comes to Teragosa. I have one more thing that needs to be done. There's one last member of my kin that deserves rest. Ah, oh, really? Really? Keep safe. I have learned much in this short time on the Isles, friend. And there's something I must do. My sister. You are not forgotten to me. You never will be. But you deserve more than an eternity alone. Duh. Kalik, my friend, tell him. No, it can wait. It is something that I must say myself. Well met, friend. Remind me what happened to Tarago, is that true? Taragos's sacrifice was something which involved us both. I would be honored if you helped me send her to rest. Taragosa was destined for greatness. 
But destiny was not kind to her. After the cataclysm, we were betrayed by one of our own. He chose to serve Deathwing. My sister threw herself in front of an attack meant for me, and suffered a mortal wound in the process. Is it up in the air or what? During her time on Azeroth, we bound her soul to a staff. One that you now have in your possession. I'm guessing there was supposed to be a cutscene playing in the area. Charlie, you missed it! Ew, no! Well, that's fine. It's good to see you again. Uh, I remember the quest. Together, we can achieve anything. Come back soon. Fair skies and strong winds. Alongside a proper conduit to house Taragosa's soul, we need enough magical essence to ground the flower. The bronze record flight was involved in creating the staff that you hold, so I believe it's best that we use their magic again. Some of the sand within the temporal conflux could suit this purpose perfectly. Just make sure that it is more of the magical variety. Good luck. The staff was made with the bow of a world tree, so the receptacle that the souls transfer to needs to be comparable. Within the adverse conditions of Vactros, there may be a flower that is tenacious enough to grow. It will be fragile given the circumstances. Find it and then bring it to one of the green dragonflies groves to help strengthen it. A whole additional questline for, like, anybody that's done this legendary questline is actually kind of cool, I must admit. Nice little callback. Okay, and so you go on your adventures and you go collect magical dusts. Oh. No, mortal, that I do not resent our time together. Nor Kalik's actions. I have seen so much of this world through your eyes. I could not imagine a world where our lives did not intersect. Yeah, have you seen a lot of the world from Porganion's bank? I bet you have. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you go into this land and you pick up some sands. Mm-hmm. Handy this is. Okay, so you pick up some of the, the magical stuff from the bronze. Uh, and then you fly into the Onarn Plains with the bow where you can, like, upgrade the flower and make sure it becomes extra powerful. Mm-hmm. As the world changes... And you change. I stay stagnant. It is time for me to move on. Right? She, uh... She knows that she's stuck in the bank. Uh... Over here... Oh, okay, those are the world quest pop-ups. I was like, huh, you're getting dialogue, but those are world quests. Yeah. Okay. Pool of wonder. How goes the hunt for sands? Time is a fickle thing, even when it flows properly. Good luck. Did you find it? It grows very rarely. Together. The flower only grows in specific conditions, and due to that, it contains quite a bit of magical energy. This should be a perfect conduit. We can achieve anything. Yeah, yeah. Apparently you missed the beginning, Charlie. It was in the air. That's right, I'm very happy with this. Thank you so much for sending it my way. I love being able to see the dialogue. It is time. Let us say our farewells. You will get a lingering echo. Yeah, were you happy with it? combined magic of the bronze and blue dragons, we should be able to transfer Terragosa's soul from the staff. If you could prepare the grave, I will start the ritual. Aww. That's a beautiful spot, though. Terragosa, my dear sister, 
I feel as though I am still learning from you, despite being the teacher. Your absence is one that weighs heavily on my heart. I wish I could fly in the same skies as you once again, but clinging to an unchangeable past in hopes that fate may be kind is a fruitless dream. I realize this now. It will be the memories I have of you that will define my own future. Kalik, my dear brother, I wish for you to know one thing. I am proud of you. Aww. I... I'm so sorry... for failing you. It was my choice. There is a world that needs you out there now, my wingmate. And I know you will guide our kin into the brightest future. It is time for my chapter to end. Farewell, Terragosa. A dear sister, hero, student, and teacher. Though blood does not bind us, you will always be family. May your soul find its place soaring among the stars. Cute. Um, yeah, that was Kaelic Talk. Like, if you can't hear properly, let me... Uh, here, here's a link in the chat. You can check it out if you want to on your own. Adjust the volume and whatnot. Compliments of the Great Charlie. Fair skies and strong winds. You got a lingering echo. You can now transform. Uh, oh, that's account wide, ain't it? Does that mean all of my characters are going to be able to transform into freaking Terragosa? <gasps> oh my god. You mistyped it. Type in Terragosa. Oh, you couldn't use it until you logged out? Oh. It's only the person that has done it. It's not account wide. That's some bullshit. <laughs> you had to do. Wait, what? I had a whole macro for it, okay. So, um, it's account-wide, but only characters who unlocked the staff. Yeah, alright. Wait, my paladin can't do that questline, right? Though blood does not bind us, you will always be family. May your soul find its place soaring among the stars. Why is your guild message, my name is Jeff? What kind of fun guild do you hang on in? <laughs> and why are you in trade chat? Holy shit. <laughs> cool. What a nice treat though. And again, this is only for those that have done that legendary quest line, like... Oh shit, you could turn your snake into a green one? <gasps> I need one of those. Hell yeah. Oh, it used to be a raiding guild. Oh... Cool, cool. Uh, again, I'll, I'll link it in the chat if somebody wants to check it out on their own time. Uh, but Charlie, thank you very much for sending it my way. Very cool to have seen it. I'll probably... Um, it gives me a good reason to level up my mage, I suppose. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's the schedule right now. Oh, here's Amigosa. Oh, that's cute. Oh, and they're gone. Senegos, deceased, old age, surrounded by friends and family. I wasn't allowed to change the gravestone, but... Alright. That's cute, though. Huh. Yeah. All in all, uh, I would say a fantastic job on the Blue Dragon Flight questline. Blizzard Entertainment, you done good. Um... Sure enough, they could have done a little bit more. 
like with Tiragosa and whatnot. But beyond that, I think they pulled out pretty much all the stops when it comes to the history for the Blue Dragon Flight. They called on some things that happened in the past. Even Crystal Song Forest played a part. Caligo has got a chance to shine as in, okay, this is how I want to rule the Blue Dragon Flight. We're not going to be destroying and murdering everything we're going to negotiate we could we got a sense of what it means to be different kind of blue dragons some are hostile some are more like i want to make some money instead of killing people um and of course senegos beautifully wrap up uh senegos was even said to be dying back in legion but to now have like a reason like yeah this is what he used to keep himself artificially going the promise made to the mother to the daughter um the additional quest line for the legendary is a really nice touch for those that played through it but again for me personally uh, to see Kiragosa added to the game and not only that also be given the freedom to say you know what I've been through enough you all want to have your party you can have your party maybe she'll show up later after giving a more consideration or maybe some really you know really push to shove kind of moment that would be fine but to now be able to decline and everybody's okay with it and just see that she's living a peaceful life I think after the events of uh, Twilight of the Aspects, it's just a really nice touch. Yeah, I got nothing to complain about. Wow, somebody should call the paper and make a report because that is newsworthy. Um, thank you very much for joining me, everybody.